Right, welcome to another episode of Warhammer 40,000. It's 2,000 points, and the Orcs are back on the channel. Classic one here, they're going to go up against the Imperial Fist Space Marines. So looking forward to this game, both armies warming themselves up at the Imperial Fists and the Orcs. Uh, they plan to continue the league. Both armies have played a game already. Both armies under pressure to do well, but this is just an experimental uh, game here as both armies uh, warm up and practice here, getting ready to continue on with the league. So for the Orcs, it's a mirror of the previous list from the index cards. Uh, experimental. Uh, we'll see what works and see what doesn't. I'd, I have changed a few things around. I really wanted to bring the Death Dread back and he is in. We'll see how he gets on uh, in this game. So running from the new codex here of latest updated points from Games Workshop, it's the War Horde. Uh, running here for the Orcs, which is really the index equivalent. So sustained hits uh, in close combat. Uh, sustained hits of one, so like six is to hit in close combat generates extra hits coming through. So... Uh, gut Ripper first to all the war boss uh, across here. Don't have the points for any extra upgrades for him. Uh, then taking uh, a war boss in mega armor, it's Grog Whopper. I do have the points to upgrade him. A super cyborg body, so four plus. Uh, feel no pain granted to him. Just try and make him uh, as tough as possible. I have Cousin Zog across here, so it's a Death Killer War Trike. Just using the Forge World model uh, here, just to stand in uh, for him. So he can be represented by that superb model from Forge World. It's actually a war boss on a bike. I'm going to run him as a Death Killer War Track. He is allowed to join bikers, so a squad of six out of those being taken, and the Death Killer War Track will join them. Two squads of boys. I was running uh, three squads previously, but let's free up some points here. Uh, so two squads of ten. Uh, Power Claw being taken for each of the knobs. Each has a dedicated transport of a truck. Uh, being taken also. Add Mega Knobs, squad of five out of those. And the idea is that Grog the Whopper can go with them. They have a Battle Wagon. Uh, I've gone for Ard Case with that, the Death Roller, as you can see uh, on the front. Then I have a Gorkonaut across here. Uh, it's inside that, the transport capacity, and that's pretty good. So regular knobs, all with power claws. The idea is that Gut Ripper can join them, and they can all fit inside. Uh, the Gorknot, got two mech guns with uh, custom mega cannons, uh, so a squad of two of those. And I have the Adef Dread, and that's just taking as many uh, claws as possible, uh, four in total uh, for that. And that's pretty much the list. Some faster elements across here. So Adef Copters, just going to use them for scooting around the board. I think their firepower is okay, but I can't really rely on it too much. But a squad of three of those being taken. And then to help me out with secondaries, uh, it is two squads of five Storm Boys uh, being taken. So that's the list for the Orcs, ripping and raring to go. We'll take a look now and see what the Imperial Fists have in their list. So 2,000 points of Imperial Fists. Uh, they're an experimental part of their journey as well. Uh, much of the list I like, how much of the units they have, I, I like very much indeed. Uh, but there is a gap for other units to come in. Uh, so some allies being taken here in the form of the Red Scorpions, just to bulk out the numbers. I don't know if these are going to be the final unit choices uh, for the final Imperial Fists uh, list here. But I want to keep games going with these, uh, to keep the list creation uh, churning uh, with the Imperial Fists and push them towards uh, 2,000 points in completion. But the best way to, to get a final list and to get a good feel for an army just to keep playing games with them. So that's the idea uh, with the Imperial Fist. If you like the look of these, the vast majority of these have been painted up by Siege Studios. Uh, and they have done an absolutely superb job. So you can see the quality of this one here. These are, this one's at silver level. It's the Gravis, Captain Gravis armor. And we'll just grab the Chaplain here as well. So there he is, again, painted up at silver level. You can check out Siege Studios. Link for them in the video description below uh, and get in touch with them if you're in painting commission work. So for the Imperial Fists, we have the captain in Gravis armor. Then we have a lieutenant at a cross here with a power fist. Chaplain on a bike over here to lead the, the cavalry arm uh, of this force. Uh, we have a regular chaplain at a cross here as well. And then for this list, changing things around a little bit, I've gone for a second Gravis Captain 
Uh, it's, Mike's going to take command here, and he's always talked about having a second Gravis captain to go with heavy intercessors. Uh, so that is now a possibility, just adding him in. Two squads of intercessors, two squads of ten. Uh, one painted up the Red Scorpions, and then the uh, Imperial Fist squad across here. In heavy intercessors, squad of ten, taking two of the heavy bolter options uh, for that large squad, and the idea is that the Gravis captain can go uh, with those. This is an Anvil Siege Force, so the themed force for Imperial Fists. We're running that here. Uh, Mike Walker uh, in command. Then we have a Redemptor Dreadnought uh, with the Macro Plasma Incinerator. We have a Brutalist Dreadnought taking the uh, multi outer option. And then it's modeled with the Fists, uh, but going to go for the Claws on that just for better uh, close combat effect. Outriders, squad of three with an Evader ATV. Uh, being taken also. Uh, fire Strike Servo Turret going for the Laz Cannon option uh, with that. Eradicators, squad of six, two multi melters and four melter rifles in that squad. And then the Hammerfall Bunker, just for the fame of it here, we'll see how useful it is uh, for this Imperial Fist Army, but that is in uh, the list as well. And I think that's everything. Yeah, there's a squad of inter uh, Inceptors across here as with their Assault Bolters uh, squad of three. That's the list here for the Imperial Fists. We'll see if they can stop the green tide here in this battle. So commanders and sub-commanders have been allocated for this battle. And so for the Orcs, we have Lucas Brown. He's an Orc player. So it's one of the Phoenix Lords. Phoenix Lords get allocated as army commanders and then sub-commanders for uh, the Autarchs. So... Gut Ripper, that'll be Lucas Brown here in this game. And then the sub-commander will be Grog Duopper, the natural choice here. That's going to be Casper Kempf, uh, one of the Autarchs, and he is an Orcs player as well. So just matching up uh, the Phoenix Laws and Autarchs uh, to their units. We've done away with allocating as uh, all the Phoenix Laws and all the Autarchs in every game. It's, uh, it's a bit overwhelming and hard to track, so we've uh, trimmed it down, kept the perk and refined it. Uh, to the commanders and sub-commanders uh, for those two levels on channel membership. So, commander for the Imperial Fists, uh, again allocated appropriately, it's Valhall and Field Marshal Robert, he's a die-hard Imperial Fists player, uh, collecting Imperial Fists uh, and plays them, so we put him on to the captain uh, in a Gravis armor for this game, he'll be the commander. And then the sub-commander will be Valen El Sorna, he's a Space Marine player, so we put him on to the second uh, Gravis captain, uh, here for the Imperial Fists. So that's commands allocated. Armies are ready to go. We'll now take a look at scenario and deployment for this 2000 points game. All right, so we have a scenario uh, taken from the Prior Nexus deck. So the primary mission is Terraform. We've not played this one yet. Hammer and Anvil for deployment and then Adapt or Die is the mission rule. So for adapt or die for the mission rule, uh, twice per battle after drawing a secondary mission card, uh, you can draw another secondary mission card and then shuffle uh, one of those two secondary mission cards back into the deck. Uh, so uh, simple enough rule uh, with that. Hammer and anvil deployment. So playing from end to end in this game, Mike selected to go at this side of the table. Uh, so uh, his deployment zone marked by the yellow dice. And then the Orc Deployment Zone across here marked by the orange dice. There's five objectives on the board. Uh, the home objective for the Orcs is just up on top here. Then there is three objectives in No Man's Land. One dead centre, both happy enough to have it at the halfway up this building. One across the other side, just opposite or over the other side of those pipes. And then one down here just at the corner of this structure. And then finally, uh, the home objective for the Imperial Fists has landed right at the feet uh, here of the wandering uh, relic space marine just there uh, so just the other side of those containers so for terraform there's a number of elements that make up this scenario the first up is that at the end of the command phase this is turn two onwards uh, you get four victory points for each objective marker that you control simple enough uh, so that's any of the objectives on the board it's capped at a maximum of 15 victory points per turn uh, the other area where you can pick up points is for uh, performing the terraform actions. So that's done in your shooting phase. Uh, it can only be done on one of the no man's land objectives, this one, the middle one, and the one across the other side. 
So you start the action in your shooting phase with one of your units. Uh, if you then survive on that objective through to the end of your opponent's turn, uh, that objective then becomes terraformed. And just checking the wording here, it looks like it says an objective outside of your deployment zone. So it looks like it can be done on the objective in your opponent's deployment zone as well. So that action can be performed on any of these four for the Imperial Fists and then for the Orcs, the middle three. And then if we can get to the objective for the Space Rings, we can do it on there uh, as well. So once an objective has been terraformed, uh, if you secure that objective, as we talked about already, at the start of the command phase, uh, you pick up your four points. But if it's been terraformed, you get a bonus two points uh, for that objective. So a terraformed objective, wherever it is, uh, is really worth six victory points at a time. And that goes on uh, throughout the game. So you could hold an objective from one turn to the next. So that's the way we're reading it here, from one turn to the next. And you can keep raking in those six victory points for objectives. So a big fight for the middle. A fight to take objectives, but also to hold out on them and to harvest those uh, victory points. Or if you can, break through and try and take uh, the home objective from the opponent, but that's going to be uh, tough enough here for both sides. The real fight, I think, is going to be uh, for these three No Man's Land objectives. So both of us are going to go for the random draw on second areas to point out terrain. Uh, the key areas to bear in mind, we're going to go for, for some obscuring in this battle. There's a good number of pieces. So we're going to play this stru whole structure across here. So we'll go by the hard edge. And these two are linked together. So it's just one piece. Uh, this piece across here as well, just the two containers just going up to the hard edge of those. This structure in the middle will play as obscuring. This structure here, that L shape of containers, and the smaller structure across the other side, uh, all obscuring terrain. There's some tank traps and boxes and barrels that spread out across the board as well. So so that's the terrain, that's the scenario. Army's ready to go. We'll now start alternating placing units on the board next. Just to mention the battle mat and terrain that we're using in this game. So battle mat is from gamemat.eu. Six by four inch size. You can get this one the 60 by 44 inch size uh, if you're regular games of 10th edition. Uh, and then also using pre-painted terrain from gamemat.eu. It's the industrial terrain set from them. Uh, that's this piece here. You get four of these. You get four of these large containers. You get pipes. Uh, you get boxes and barrels, or you get box, uh, a, a set of uh, boxes in that set as well. A link for gamemat.eu in the video description below. And then along with that link, you'll see a discount code. It's for 11% off across the store, so you can use that uh, for your terrain and battle mats available from them. Uh, a wide variety now available for the battle mats. They also do this mat. There's a new one that's come out, marked up. Uh, with the Pariah Nexus markings, the competitive map that has all the deployment zones, all the objective marker uh, allocations all across that ball, just faintly placed on it. So really good for competitive play uh, and very handy indeed uh, for showing you where all the deployment zones are and so on. So link for gamemat.eu below. Use that discount code as well. And they are shipping internationally so they can get these uh, items to you wherever you are. All right, so deployment is done for both sides, both players thinking carefully about where to place units. And so we'll start with the Orcs across here. Both armies making use of the obscuring terrain. And so mech guns here at the back, their intent, I think, is to uh, hold on to the objective. Death copters sheltering uh, at the back here. On the right-hand side, uh, it's like the horns of the buffalo for the Orcs. There's two war bosses to lead uh, as pronged attacks here. So on the right-hand side, is Krog de Whopper. Uh, he's inside the battle wagon uh, with the Meganobs as his bodyguard. So that's there to take the brunt of the Imperial Fist firepower against them. Sheltering of the Death Dread. Uh, watch him in this game. I brought him in because I, I really love the model and there's this potency with it, I think, uh, but I'm going to try and use it in a certain way. Uh, and then Biker's uh, cousin Zog here with his bikers has joined those and they're on the right hand side as well. Then the two trucks with all boys, one's actually here in the middle, and then one on the left-hand side, appropriately in the looted Imperial Fist Rhino. Then the Gorkonaut, that's got Gut Ripper inside. He has been bodyguarded by the big squad of knobs, a squad of 10, uh, and they're inside uh, the Gorkonaut across there, getting ready to move out to the central Objective reserves for the orcs, everything's inside their transport vehicles. Uh, the two squads of storm boys have gone into deep strike reserves, they'll be dropping in at turn two onwards. Then for the imperial fists, 
uh, to spread out across the line here to counter the Orcs and to make their own breakthroughs. So on this left hand side, supported by the servo turret with the Lascans here, uh, is the uh, squad of intercessors with the chaplain. So it's Chaplain Leonatus uh, going with the Red Scorpion Intercessor Squad, Squad of 10. Uh, the Brutalis Dreadnought, remember this is obscuring terrain, so just hugging into this uh, here to try and uh, be as obscured as possible. So the Dreadnoughts are named here, this is Hector and then Achilles across here. It's the Redemptor Dreadnought sheltering again behind obscuring terrain. Uh, the Lieutenant's Intercessor Squad on the home objective, they have stickies, they can stay there or they can move away and it'll still remain under Imperial Fist control. Then uh, straddled along the uh, middle of the deployment zone for the Imperial Fists is the Heavy Intercessors. They've been joined by uh, the Captain in Gravis armor. So that's the view of them just there. A wall of yellow here. Then the bunker. Not the easiest to place on the board. It's large and obviously can't move. So you've got to think carefully about where it goes. Uh, some people have been saying in the comments, Red One comment, this, this is actually a bunker that deep strikes in. It's actually meant to drop in. I believe that's what that explains all this stuff across here. I believe. Now that's just going by comments. I could be wrong, but I mean, and they were saying, well, surely there should be rules that you can actually yeah. drop drop the bunker in. It'd be very cool. Which if it can deep strike in, if that's the fluff, then it should. But I'm just going by what comments that people have said. But if you know that's true, you can confirm that in the comments section. But wouldn't that be an asset if you I'm could drop it in? Have a, have a look. Epic. Like drop it on an objective, yeah, be very cool. But anyway, uh, it's bikers across here moving around, they've been joined by the chaplain ATV uh, in with that unit. Then in reserve, so flanking, Mike's done this before. Uh, he's put the Gravis captain, Captain Parmenian, and they've gone with the he's gone with the eradicators to flank on the board. So you'll see them turn to onwards, and then interceptors to arrive via deep strike here as a long reaching unit for the Imperial Fists. So, Imperial Fists looking to teach the Orcs a lesson. The Orcs looking to sharpen their teeth. Or knock out some Space Marine teeth and then trade them. Not intimidated. Okay, no, <laughs> no reply. Mike is not James, okay? <laughs> Different player. We're going to go... I'm going to roll up here. Orcs to go first or second. It's a one. A three. Yeah. See, we've broken it. I've been going first for about the last half a dozen games, but Mike finally gets to go first with the Imperial Fist. Does that suit you, all right? You get some shots in that stuff. No. Doesn't suit you? No. Oh, the one time he got it, he doesn't want it. Okay. Uh, yeah, I know. But this is how the dice work with me. <laughs> Mike, Mike feels he's cursed here at the moment. All right, Imperial Fist to go first. They've got to take the fight to the Orcs. Do they wait here? Let the green tide come towards them. We'll see what decisions the Space Marines make. Turn one for the Space Marines coming up next. So turn one here for the Imperial Fists. Uh, just to point out, Orcs have not declared a Warg, so they're going to hold it off uh, for turn two onwards. Cards in play for secondaries is Aerodinar and Establish Locus. What do you got to do for that one? I need to be on three or six inches of the center of the battlefield. Oh, okay. Did you make it? Just about. Okay, stretching <clears> from here stretch, to here. Yeah. yeah, so these are moved. Just moved. 
And you can't do actions if you advance. Gotcha, right, okay. So heavy intercessors pushing forwards. They are brave here, facing off against the orcs, but they've got a mission, they've got things to do. Uh, the bikers are swung around to grab this objective. The whole game is going to revolve around these central objectives. Uh, the Mike's going after all three. Not with a full force here, but units definitely being sent out. That'll put pressure on the orcs. Bunker, I don't ever need to report its movement because it sits there. Uh, and then intercessors shifting to their left, but remaining sheltered here at the back. So just moving out to here. Uh, Redemptor Dragnaughts left and has joined uh, the Brutalis Dragnaughts. The two Dragnaughts now side by side. Brutalis Dragnaught has not moved. It's not surged yet. It's going to hold. We may well see this in the game. Uh, it's both sides committing with some units, holding key units as a second uh, line of attack. Turret's not moved. Has shifted to the left. And then intercessors have surged ahead. Yep, they advanced the... To make it onto the objective. All right, okay. So all three... No, sorry. The two flank objectives have been grabbed. And then Mike's got two, just have been six. Yep. Through. Yeah, to the centre of the board. Okay, so movement done. Shooting phase next. Okay, yeah. Bikers first on uh, Mike's right-hand flank. The melter gun... Well, the multi motor has got itself just in range 18 of the truck. Yeah, so that's possible. Yeah. Mike has 92 green dice. We found a box of spares. What to do with them? Now, that, I don't know. I don't know where he's going to turn to them here in this game. He's going to use the Imperial Fist dice to start off with. Yeah. And then he's got the green dice, the white dice, the red dice, and the grey dice. I have one set of dice. The Xenos dice. Yes. Two shots with the multi melter. Yeah, two shots. On threes. Two threes, well done. And then strength man, toughness. Oh, poor. It's going to be poor. It should be an eight, I would imagine. Yeah, toughness eight. Yeah, so threes. Threes to end, yeah. It's a good start. Both go through. Oh. Yeah, minus four. Uh, minus three. Uh, yeah, and I'm a four up save, I believe. So you're going to go straight through. Yeah, four up save. Oh, got a six up invulnerable save. <laughs> On Xenos dice, could be useful. Dah. Both go through. So d6 apiece. Yeah, all of a sudden. Nine. Nine. Um, ten wounds. Ooh. Good shooting. The twin bolt rifle on it. Okay, it's going to leave it. Yeah. One pesky wound left. <clears throat> well, uh, threes. It equals three, but no. Okay. Then the other bit that can see from here. Yes. One of one. Okay. Uh, threes. Two hits. Okay. And then. Sixes. Sixes, yeah. Twin, oh, got one. Twin linked. Yep. Fish for another six. I can't believe he's got two. His dice are on fire. Minus I'm one. Three. Minus one? Yep. I'm dead. Oh. Come on, reroll a truck. Um. <clears throat> now remember, I've got all that lined up. Over there? Yeah, let's put an oath. I... Right, yeah, over the moment here. Sorry, I missed it. There it is. Um, <sighs> useful to have that truck alive. It really would. In which case... Oh, come on. No, all right, we'll go. We, we die. And do we blow up? We don't. All right, we'll sort out the mess here. But the truck's been picked off very quickly here. Uh, and by just a, a flanking unit. Well done to the bikers. So that's gold level Patreon dice. Uh, Mike uh, was meant to call it out there. That's Nicholas Lucas. Uh, firepower coming through. So tank was here deploying. No casualties taken. I've sneaked him. Keep him in two. So keep my coherence. I've just got him to there. He's facing in. Just trying to tuck these in as tight as possible. Because we're wary of this bunker. We've checked line of sight. And they are obscured from there. Just if we decide to try and go for a run up here. To go after these. Obviously, there's going to be no WAG. It's already been declared that we're not going for a WAG. Uh, but just to keep the opportunity open, potentially, for those boys to go chasing 
the bikes. But it would be across open ground. So I've got to watch it here for Overwatch. And the bunkers, free Overwatch as well, is available. That's all, because we'll need to be careful over on this flank. Uh, but Imperial Fist making a mark on this game already. A charge with the bikes. Know. Oh, you could? Yeah. Oh, you could? I wouldn't even know that. Yeah. How interesting. Oh, it's trying to route the flank. Oh, aggressive stuff. All right, so that's a possibility. Uh, next up for shooting. Let's go to the bunker. Yeah, the bunker. The heavy intercessors are out of it. They're performing an action. Yeah. Right. Imperial Fist, they can't shrivel up in a corner here against the Orcs. They have to be bold. Uh, so they have pushed out units strongly. It's paying off so far. Bunker's firepower obviously can see the Gorknaut. Oh, okay, here, sorry, my apologies. A couple of shots to go. Yeah, go ahead and do that. It's fine. Yeah. This is uh, the last of the bikers going into yeah. the Gorknaut. So I just want to see if there's any difference between the chaplain and the other two. Uh, it's going to go away both four. No, there's no difference, so I'm going to shoot them all at the same time. I'll do. Um, so, three. Uh, yeah, all hitting on threes. Okay. And then um, sixes. Sixes. 28. No. Okay. Yeah, it's really anything the bunker can see is the Gorkonaut, so I'm just going to offload everything into that. Yeah, so I'll start with the heavy boulder array. Okay. Threes. Yeah, for the uh, Anvil Siege Force detached from Brawl. This is the. Oh wow. And these are sustained hits one, so that miss can go there. Yeah, number two. Two more. Nice. Six is out to wound, top is 12. Yeah. Twin linked. Yeah. There's one. one. Should get another one. No, oh, just the one. Uh, minus one, bit of cover, so back up to threes. Okay, passed. Crack rounds. Yes. Two shots, I think. Yep, two shots. Name three again. Three, yeah. One. One hit. And then this is uh, fives. Fives to wound. Nope. No. Okay, bunker's done. Uh, these two units are out of it, so we're going to cross over towards the Dreadnoughts. Next, there's a servo turret available as well. Yeah, what I might do is actually get the... Uh, no, just in case something comes out. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, servo turret, yep. Yeah. Right, obvious target's going to go into the battle wagon. Yeah. So we'll go Sam Hermes. Sam Hermes for firepower. This is two shots, hitting on twos. He's on your team. He's Black Templars and Cadians. So it's uh, Oft. Oh, yeah. well done. Two hits. And then this is Strength 10, so it'll be fives. Yeah, with Toughness 12, with Ard Case. Um, twin Linked as well. Is it? Yeah. One gets so through. One. Minus three. Minus three, right. So just going to say a thing, right? This battle wagon has ramshackled but rugged. Each time an attack is allocated to this model, worse than the AP by one. So it becomes minus, minus two. two. So it becomes five up save, mm -hmm. and then cover. Yeah. Fours. Yeah. Um, I'd rather not take the damage, to be honest. And that's D6 plus one. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want it. We'll try and block it. 50-50. We'll call upon someone tough. Carl Roden. Tyranny Chitin. We'll roll the Chitinous dice. No! Duh. He's not an orc friend today. And D6 plus one. Go ahead. Ah! Oh. <laughs> plus one, though. Two, two wounds caused. Unless Mike wants to come on reroll. No, that'll put me on you both for the CP. Oh. So I'm gonna have to. That one again! <laughs> Better roll the green dice. Six! <laughs> Don't torment yourself. Don't do it, Mike. <laughs> okay. Yeah, all right, so 14 wounds remain. Battle wagon's in good shape. The plan on the painting desk is a second one of these, a squad of two. Would have been very useful indeed. 
uh, but just the one in operation at the moment as a bit of firepower support. Dreadnoughts. Not sure if the Brutalis... Brutalis can't stand in because the cap it hidden. I just want to measure eight. Him, yeah, okay. Yeah. So the way, the way we're going by obs uh, obscuring and hard edges it actually cannot be seen by the Redemptor Dreadnought, but it's five power is still available. It can go against this truck or the Corkinaut if Mike wishes, which no, as yet. Or the truck. The truck's off the target. Okay, it's this truck across here, mm -hmm. like one of the looted wagons I made a while ago. So that'll be D6 plus one. Yeah. I'll go overcharged. Yep. Yeah. Six. Nice. This is sitting on threes. Okay. And then strength nine, toughness eight. eight. Uh -huh. Yeah, so threes. Nice. Minus four. Oh. Cover! I'm down to a six up in vulnerable save again. Oh, we block one. Six damage. Six damage total? Yeah. All right, dropping down to four. Oh, truck's not lasting very long at all. Mike's wire's going after the softer stuff. Kill them whilst you can. Oh, I'm fine for the hazardous. Hazardous, yeah. Mike's yellow dice finding their way over here. Can have them back over there. Oh no, we should sell them to you, but too, too late. <laughs> and then nothing else is in range. You're about two inches out because I have measured. Oh, the other stuff, yeah. I have measured. I think these are the only ones left. Yeah. They have heavy and assault, so they can. They're not performing any kind of actions, so. No. And I think their only target would be this. Yeah. All right. 20 shots. No, you've got some crack rounds that yeah. can come from the grenade launchers. So I'll do the grenade launcher. There's two of them, it's two shots. Um, threes. Okay. Hits. Um, or is he? Oh, it's a Chapman. Five to win. Five to win. One. Okay. Minus two to minus one to minus zero. So. Four is okay. I don't know if we're getting covered there. Uh, these don't count for vehicles, uh, but we are getting the built-in minus one for the ramshackle roll. So we're okay. Uh, the minus two, yeah, you two up save. Three up save. Three up save, we've got you got four up save. Yeah, got four, yeah. Oh. Uh, 16 shots with what rifles. 16, hitting on threes. It's the last bit of shooting here from the fists. Uh, we're along because of wolf. Okay. And then sixes. These are minus one. Yep. All right. Uh, goes to zero, so be three up saves. If any of these come through. And there's three. Three. Sneaked in two wounds. Well, it was worth a go. In the end, dropping down to 12. Mike will be more than happy with that. Okay, drop down to 12 wounds left. End of shooting. Chaplain's just with pistol, so we're looking at the stretchy charge if you want to go for it. That much. All right. Oh, I'll as well. No harm in trying. <gasps> Seven. All right. No charges. We'll calculate points as we finish off turn one for the Imperial Fists. So points coming through for established locus. Two points picked up. Aerodinar's been dropped. And Mike will pick up the CP. So two points to zero. Very early stages here. Imperial Fists have pushed forwards. Uh, keeping the mission in mind, getting themselves onto uh, objectives, uh, but not committing the full weight of the force, holding back some key units here, knowing full well the orcs will seek to surge ahead. We'll go on to turn one here for the orcs, coming up next. All right, so we for the orcs on turn one. Cards drawn, marked for death uh, here. So three units picked by Mike for me to try and destroy us early on in the game, so it's nice and straightforward to do. The bunker can be seen by a few things, but it's tough enough for sure. Intercessors virtually completely hidden behind here. And then the Brutalis Dragnaught, which again is obscured, so that should be safe enough. Secure No Man's Land is the other 
secondary objective. Orcs pushing forwards, not with the full weight, but with most stuff, uh, enthusiastic enough to get forwards. So battle wagon going 10, as has made it onto the objective, so we're kind of contesting it at this stage. Mike's found a use for the green dice, just marking these as sticky uh, for intercessors, marking that one and marking the one at the back. Bikers have advanced, rolled a four, so we've swung them around here, 16 inches in total. Rolled a one for the death trade, he's swung around here just to follow up behind these. Gorkonaut shifted to his right, pushing through in this direction. Uh, Mech guns sneaking out from behind cover to lay down some shots, uh, hopefully against that Dreadnought. Then with the truck, we fouled Battleshock, uh, pushed forwards and then disembarked the boys onto that objective. They're terraforming, they've got themselves in range of that objective, now terraform the central objective. Yeah, it's just clarifying the rules. It's kind of a 10th edition rule, they changed it, so you can uh, move forwards of a transport and disembark, but you have to disembark within three. Uh, you cannot charge, and you can't move extra after that. Uh, it's, so it's kind of a 10th edition rule, it's, sort of, it's taken a while to get used to that crossing over from 9th edition, but that's been done by the boys. Uh, then across here, Defcopters have moved out, being wary of potential firepower coming for us, using this obscuring terrain to lend some firepower support in this direction. The boys moved out and were overwatched by the bunker, taking two casualties in total, took them from the back. Uh, we've made it to there. A five inch charge would get us in against the chaplain and his squad. That's move done here for the orcs. Moving forwards on all flanks. We'll go to their shooting phase next. Okay, Chris Kamiski dice chosen. We're going to kick off with the copters and their shots. I've said that these are just unreliable here, but we'll give it a go. Try and pick up a couple of bikes would be great. So we are looking for. D3 plus one shots. So that's six, seven, eight, nine, ten shots, which isn't bad. We're going for fives. Chris Kamiski shots. And we get three, which is okay. Uh, threes to wound at strength nine. They've all wounded. Okay. AP minus two. In the open. Yep. So we're looking at fives. fives yeah. So six damage, which I think your eight wounds on the ATV. Yep. Yeah. So ATV will tank it. It's a very useful model to have in the unit. For tanking damage. Nice. ATV. Right. I'd rather ask for it once per turn in your opponent's shooting phase when a friendly adept was start his magic unit within six inches of his model, side of his target will attack. This model can use its ability with those. After the enemy is finished, it's making its attack. This model can shoot it over your shooting phase. Fine. But then, resolving those attacks, it has to target the enemy unit. And only if it's eligible. Oh, even 18. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> On the nose. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, man. Go ahead. <clears throat> two multi -melders. He's going to pop two copters. I know it. Uh, three's them. Two shots. Yeah, it's fine. Go ahead. Two hits. Two hits. I, know, I know what's coming. Yes. Strength nine. Three's to wound. Ooh, one goes through. Mm. Not good this return fire. How annoying. Six up in vulnerable save, I can boast. That's about it. I'm, I, it's upset. I may. No, I'll leave it. I'll leave it. All right. Mm -hmm. I'll leave it. Not blocked. Go ahead. D6. Yeah, well done. I think that's enough and four wounds. Yeah, take off the back copter. Return fire, cool. I also have the twin bolt rifle. I'm just gonna roll to see if it does snake. I don't know if I do uh no we don't. Threes. Two hits and then fives. Fives, twin length. And there's one. No, oh, just the one. And blocked. Alright, well done. Good shooting, okay. Uh, that's it. So we'll go with this truck. We'll put a bit of decker uh, across there. So that'll be five shots in rapid fire. In fives. Nothing from him, so that's the truck, Tom. All right, next, we're going to pick on the Dregnaut here. The Redemptor Dregnaut. It's going to be shot by the Grots. We'll see if they're having a good day or a bad day. We'll turn to Travis and Jen. And, and... I'm going to go for the sea as well. Right, Michael Fry for saves. So we'll go for gen shots first of all. So a d6 number of shots. 
two. So it's the custom mega cannons that we're firing. Uh, we'll see if Jen hits in force. We do. Uh, there is a rule uh, if it's at its starting strength, excluding monsters and vehicles. I don't get it. Can try and wound here on a three. And we do. So one comes through. It's minus one. They really have nerfed this one. It used to be minus three. That's blocked easily. Ugh. Okay. And then uh, D. I they may have to go. This is an experimental game, but I've got my eye on the grots here. <laughs> Day, days might be numbered. Or change the weapon round. There's perhaps better weapons here. The smasher gun could be a better option. The bubble chucker. Or well, the bubble chucker, yeah. Travis shots. Four shots needing fours. Oh, the grots must have heard me. They've all hit. <laughs> uh, trying to win two on threes. Oh, three go through. Back in the day, that would have been really good. But uh, with cover, it's zero. So twos. <gasps> Oof, right. That would have been one or two going through uh, if I'd had, had the minus three. Okay, uh, five power for them complete. No impact at all. Can turn to the Gorkonaut. It's going to offload all it has into the bikes across the other side. We'll go after them with the Gorkonaut. Yeah, we're just checking. There's no cover. It's only infantry going to gain the benefit of the walls and pipes. So, here we go. 20 shots. We're just outside of Rapids. So we're not going to get the extra 10. It all sounds scary, the number of shots for the Orcs, but there's really not much to it. But chipping away a few wounds... Uh, it would be useful against that ATV. We'll fire the DACA first. This is the Death Storm Mega Shooter. Looking for fives. And not too bad, not too bad. There's another thing to do, like to add a mech. He repairs mm -hmm. D3 and gives him plus one to hit rolls. That's insane. So the cogs are turning. Toughness on you, five or six? Uh, the bikes are five. Yeah, so six saves at minus one. Six saves at four plus on the ATV. Oh, sorry, CP for the armor contempt. Armor contempt's been played. Four, six. So three ups on six dice. Mike can just roll the locks. It's the same save for the ATV and the bikers. Ugh, four make it free. So it'll kill the ATV. ATV gone on two wounds on the bike. Yeah. Successful enough. Oh. Ouch. Uh, rocket launch has got two of them. So two D three plus two. So, uh, four, six shots. In fives. Two go free. Three to wound. Yeah, two go free. Add minus two, comes minus one, comes fours. Dow block by four, well done. Thank you. <clears throat> Add, and then we're down to a bit more deck. We've got a chance perhaps of picking off a bike here. So it's twin big shooters. And we are equipped with... Two twin big shooters, again outside of uh, rapid. So that's going to be six shots in total. Then fives. Then yep. fours. Twin linked. A save of three up. And blocks again. Well done. So good saves being made. Uh, but some damage coming through. So we'll call upon uh, Ray Cross for this firepower. Why not? 21 shots, one of them in rapid. We've got ourselves in nine as well, so we're going to get a bit of extra AP minus, minus one. He's out of range. All his weapons are range 12. Five and sixes would be great. Here's a few. Nice one, Ray. Okay. And then we're looking at three twin. Twin linked. Ooh, okay, seven saves of four plus. So we try and chip away here, a bit of a drive-by shooting going on with the bikers. Seven saves and even fours. And some are sneaking. It's going to be two slain and a wound on another. Alright, I will see and then score it. Yeah, okay. So there's a, Mike's talking about a stratagem uh, where you can double his OC control, which, uh, so I need to kill these really if I'm going to stand a chance of uh, gaining control of this objective. But two brought down uh, that's them completely finished. There's a bit of DACA from this, and I think that's firepower done. So, lots of gubbins on this thing. Uh, we'll just cycle through. So, the first thing is a. You know, we'll save the zap gun. <laughs> we'll do a lobber. So, a d6 plus one shots. Six shots. 
in vibes. Vibes, isn't it? Just checking if we've got some kind of grot crew helping us out. No, just the one here. And no wounds. That's that done. Uh, then we'll turn to the, the big shooters. Actually got four of them. So I think it's going to be 20 shots. A lot of firepower from orcs, but nothing much hits. They are dreadful wasters of ammunition. But they don't care, because most of it's stolen, probably, <laughs> from someone named Fives. And if they run out of ammo, they just go and nick some more. So I don't suppose it bothers them in the slightest. And you can imagine the orcs mixing extra tracer rounds with their firepower as well. So I'm trying to wound you on threes. So I've got four wounds coming through. No minus going on with this. So three ups, chipping away. We have chipped away. Three have made it through. So that one and that one. Mike says to take them from the back. It's almost like I'm rolling my green dice all over again. He's got this green dice syndrome kicking in. And then one zap gun. In a five. And a missed. It could be damage five if that went through. So not too bad here from the orcs. Uh, we'll go on to charges. There is a couple of charges possible. It's a five inch charge across mm -hmm. there. Here we go. Literally. Six. So yeah, just straight ahead. A six. So swamp him. I think... Yeah, I don't like our prospects over there. Bike's going to be tough enough. Their chainsaws are cut through. But we get to swing first. Mike's got a CP. It's not enough to interrupt play. Then across here, and if we'll go for this charge with the battle wagon, needing probably a four or five with a CP rear on standby. A ten. Interesting. We'll push forwards here with the battle wagon. All right, so this charge goes ahead. I think I should play tank shock, so we'll do this now, just trying to get as much damage caused as possible. So spend a CP. Uh, it's your roll with your toughness. Yeah, toughness now, yeah. Right. It could be 12. Plus 12, it makes sense. If anything's going to run something over, it's going to be this bus. 10 dice name fives. Mike's going to check. The updated stratagem to see if there's yeah, anything fire. else. It's the just straight up fire. Okay. Who wants to run Space Marines over? Me, me, me. That's all right. Let's think of someone. Jordan Russell would. He's an Eldar player. Okay. And he'd like to because Eldar can't run stuff over. It's all grab. So <laughs> fives. Yeah. Just three. Could have been worse, I suppose. Three mortal wounds. So it's going to slay a model and put a wound on another. So I suppose that's it. Half the squad slain so far. We're going to combat resolution. We've got lots of stuff that we can use. What's all your APs here? So, got a death roller. Got a wrecking ball. And got a grabbing claw as well. So grabbing claws, two attacks, name three, strength eight, minus two, two damage. The death roller is only AP minus one, six attacks, three six. No, I'm just going to let you walk away. <gasps> <the same. gasps> okay, here it comes. So I think we'll go with... Well, do you know what would be satisfying? To hit the chaplain in the face with a wrecking ball. <laughs> so we'll try and do that. <laughs> okay. Brutal with the orcs. We'll go for six attacks. Needing threes with a death roller. This is Patreon time and an orc player. Blood Angels Ryan. Yes, he plays for the Imperium, but he's also Allegiance Orcs. Sixes would be great. Yeah. Oh. No, those all failed. So three come through. Two's to end. All right, so three saves of four plus, so you're going to get run over. You block two, well done. Just the one at the back. Oh, we're going to struggle here. Mike's going to have enough bodies on the ground. Okay, well done. Uh, we'll now try and use a grabbing claw. Two hits, the grabbing claw. And then threes, yeah, great. Two's to wind. Oh, just the one. Nothing I can do. Minus one on this one. Minus two, sorry, actually. Oh, wow. uh, grabbing claw. Minus two, yeah, and two damage. So I'm going to slay another. Mm -hmm. And then a wrecking ball in the face. Missed. Ooh, and that's it. So a low enough impact from the battle wagon. Good for the chaplain. Look at this roadblock. Oh, it's like a street protest being made here by this chaplain, refusing to budge off the objective despite a death roller in the face. That's bravery. Chaplain Leonatus. 
of the Imperial Fists. Remember that name. And talking to chaplains, I'm going to play with another chaplain across the other side. Uh, so I'm going to pile in with the boys, three inches, and going to make our attacks with our squad. Yeah. So pile move made. Six can, I'll zoom in so you can see. We're going to, here we go. So that's the fight across there. Uh, Mike's yet to pile in with his bikers. I don't fancy my chances here, but but we'll fight anyway. We can't help ourselves. Uh, so boys on their own, no, no kind of war boss or warg or anything to help. We're just going to fight raw. Uh, we'll go with the power claw, I think, just to chop through if we can. Uh, three attacks. That's it. All right, three hits. Uh, three's to win. Good for him. Two come through. Two at minus two. Two five ups required. Plus one kill one. Yeah, damage. that's enough damage too. Two, so it's enough to kill. So chop a bike. Okay, and there's six boys with their attacks. So there will be eighteen attacks in total. We've asked too much of these boys, I think, but they wanted to go. So we let him go in. So we're looking at threes for hits. Taking away the ones and twos. There's three sustained, which we'll add back in for our formation. Fours, strength five. All right, six saves. No minus, six saves are three plus. Might as well just roll them all up. And well done. Just the one. So a wound cause. Orcs have pretty much bounced off those bikers. Managed to overwhelm one of them. Uh, but Mike will then push in with the other two. And they will fight back. And it might be nasty enough. All right, so fighting down here. Uh, the sergeant with a power fist, first of all. Yeah. Some kind of counter punch here with these. They can try and cause some damage. Though Mike's saying he's got plans for dealing with this big bus. So... Three four fists sitting on threes, and I will be rerolling because you're still loafed. Oh yeah. And we'll go neat. Neat villa. Oh, yep. Yeah. And we'll hit. We'll hit. Five to win. Strength eight. Toughness twelve. Five stand fours. Chaplain. Oh, the chaplain. Ha. Another one to the one roll. Yeah. Go ahead. Fours. So you go through, well done. Minus two to minus one. So what I want to know is, ramshackle, yeah, it's an attack, not just ranged. So minus one. Yeah, minus one. Two. Fours. Block both. Just block four damage. Quite an important roll, actually. Uh, two intercessors. What's the save normally? Three? Three up, yeah. Ugh. Yeah. Um, yeah, so... Many I think it should be a two, but you can't really justify a two up, say, when a ramshackle piece of junk. <laughs> it wouldn't really make sense. Two left, is it? Yeah, two regular intercessors, six attacks. All they can do is scratch at the side of this thing and yeah. hit it with the butts of their rifles. Or the bayonet. Uh, you're all right. No. Sixes. Fives. Fives for plus one to the wound <laughs> roll, yeah. And two go through. And one sneaks in. We do I mocked their scratching. <laughs> it managed to get a wound. Right, Chaplain Leonatus next. Yep. Uh, twos. <clears throat> yeah. uh, fours? No. Fours, yeah. Are you Number strength six? six? Then you would be five. Fives. Just about. And two. you go through. Well done. Uh, you're a normal save because it's minus one. Three ups. Snaked in again. That's damage too, isn't it? Two, yeah. yeah, well, 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 well done. Dropping down to nine wounds left. Not too bad at all. That softens this vehicle up quite nicely for next turn. Good fighting. Now over to the chaplain across the other side. And these names here that we have, uh, it's all uh, Macedonian Alexander the Great themes. So uh, Achilles and Hector, uh, Chaplain Leonatus, Captain Parmenian. Uh, it's all associated with Alexander the Great. It's the the fiend names here for this Imperial Fist Force. Yep, so eight attacks with the two bikes. Okay. Threes. Um, 
and your toughness five. Yep. So it would be fives, but it's now fours because of Chapman and Lady unit. Okay. Just a three. Minus one, one damage. Okay. Uh, you're in, yeah. Three dead. Take them off. Ouch. Back? At the back, yeah. I was going to say this is a Kingslayer game, but it's not because both <laughs> armies have lost their king. Uh, it's right near the start of the league, actually. So this is a non-Kingslayer non battle. Just a, just a standard warm-up game here. And the best thing about it, you can relax now. <laughs> yeah, no pressure. No pressure on the commanders here to try and stay alive. It's going to be a bit more risky. Uh, five attacks hitting on twos. Of course, I will two ones. Strength six, threes, down the twos. Okay. Three, minus one, two, down the two. I think I've got a six up invulnerable save uh, on regular boys. No, I don't. I don't know where I got that from. All right, three dead. Uh, two from each, or one from each edge. And one other person other than the knob. So any, yeah, 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 you can go. That's fine. Ouch, right. I, I don't know what your OC is. Two and three. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, you're fine. Yeah. Oh, great. Oh, you're in. Okay, I was presuming it was um, one. That back back's just in as well, so... You got it, you got it, you got it. Brilliant, well done, well done. Okay, well done. Good work on the flanks here, not by the Orcs, but by the Imperial Fists. Good work from them. All right, early stages here, Orcs looking to get points, but failed. Secure No Man's Land failed twice. I had OC of uh, 2, 4, 6, and 7. We're a total of 5. And across the other side, we're a total of 4. And as we've seen, Mike's bikes on 2 each for the Outriders, and then the Chaplain is 3. We've won. Okay, so 5 against 4. So Mike controls both flanks. Orcs will still get points. Picked up two points for Secure No Man's Land for grabbing the central objective. We've terraformed across there. No, we have began, begun to terraform, but not guaranteed. We'll see what happens uh, as we prepare to go on to the second turn for the Imperial Fists. So just the two points for No Man's Land here for the Orcs. Two points each, very early stages in this game. Both sides pushing forces into the middle. Both sides not fully committed. That will surely change. I imagine it's going to change right now as we go on to the second turn of the game for the Imperial Fists, coming up next. At turn two here for the Imperial Fists, cards drawn, Mike's used up one of the uh, adapt or die options here for mission roll, he's drawn a third uh, card. So cleanse, engage in all fronts, and storm hostile objective with the three cards drawn, elected to dump cleanse. And so the two that are in play now is engage in all fronts and storm hostile objective. Uh, for the Orcs, should have mentioned, we dumped, marked for death, so we've picked ourselves up an extra CP. If you enjoy our games and want to see more content, you can support the channel and see extra content by joining us on YouTube channel memberships. The link for that is in the video description below, or you can go to the homepage and hit the join button. Uh, Aspect Warrior is the most popular. Uh, you can get onto our Discord community and then all the bonus content that we create, that which is now here on YouTube, including battle reports, special series, and so on, uh, all available, and you can join up uh, and tune into that, including league battles as well. We've got some more planned. Uh, for membership so check that out uh, you can support the channel that way also on patreon as well things like the patronic dice that we use in our games as well so big thank you to everyone that supports us and for extra content and perks uh, you can check out membership and patreon but we'll let mike uh, continue with his move or begin his move here he's got his secondaries lined up we'll see how the imperial fists uh, take the fight to the orcs okay so turn two here for the imperial fists um, I'm just looking at these. <laughs> uh, I tried to mirror, mostly mirror the list, but wrong choice here. Custom Mega Cannons took a wicked hit from Games Workshop. Only AP minus one. So looking at these, the Smasher Gun's okay. Tractor Cannon's very specialised, but the Bubble Chucker is better range. Range 48. D3 shots, which is all right. Still blast. And then you get still forced hit, but strength 12. Fantastic. There's the minus three. And then d6 plus 3. And then uh, versatile enough. Because you can go for d6 shots here. With damage 3. Which again is really, really good. And blast. For the wobbly bubble. Dense bubble we've talked about. And then the big bubble here as well. For still a really good profile. Gah. So crook guns are okay. I uh, just took the wrong gun to work today. Uh, and potentially uh, could be punished for that as well. Uh, it's here. 
Meteoric Descent, how useful. Dropping into here, it's Overwatch. It's just, I, I could try an Overwatch, but it's AP minus one, it's just bad. Um, so fine, it's dropped into here. Mike, I thought might land on top, but I was gonna Overwatch him, but no, he sneaked in here. You can do this with Meteoric Descent, land with up to- Three inches. Uh, just over three inches away, so it's dropped in there. Got one model on, uh, the OC of one, we're OC two, Mike thinks, uh, potentially, uh, with damage two weapons. You could try and blast those guns away, but a wicked ambush taking place, good stretch. Uh, with that unit and they're moving around orcs looking okay in the middle i think for now but across here the dreadnoughts have, <laughs> have come out to play uh, and there's two of them here bounding towards the battle wagon which is now down to nine wounds remaining in close combat mike can still shoot in with the vehicles this is a vehicle so that can shoot in as well uh, oh these are flanked eradicators have turned up here so i think mike should be able to cut through this uh, with all of these options. I think his intent though is to uh, push right through and then go after the Mega Knobs and Grog the Whopper. Uh, no need really for these to move off the objective, so holding here with the intercessors. And uh, Mike's got to watch the back door because the Orcs have two squads of Storm Boys uh, ready to descend from the sky, so Mike's just wary of them. Then around here, it's, uh, it's heavy intercessors sidestepping to their right just to get better angles for firepower uh, towards the Orcs in this direction. Uh, orcs have declared a wag, by the way, uh, at the start of the battle round. So it's going to grant us a 5 plus invulnerable save uh, on max turn 2. And then obviously we can keep the 5 plus invulnerable save, go for advance and charge when it comes around uh, to charge with what we have left. <laughs> because there might not be... Yeah, well, we'll see. It's early stages here, but Imperial Fists are not hanging back. They're not going to let the Orcs come at them here. They're taking the fight to them, which I think is the right approach. Uh, so across here, just to explain what's going on, at the end of the turn, Mike played a stratagem called Rigid Discipline, yeah. which means you're able to, as long as you end up within range of an objective marker... Or wholly within your deployment zone. Or wholly within your deployment zone, you can fall back out of close combat. Of up to six inches, you can fall back up to six inches. So he sneaked, sneaked around here, but still retained control of this objective, picking up the points for it in the command phase, mm -hmm. and now Mike's final move. Uh, it's a bit out of sync with the Deep Strikers and so on, but it's fine. Uh, it's to zoom across this direction. It's going to go after the Copters. Yeah. Stylish stuff. Outwitting, I have to say, you're outwitting the Orcs, which I suppose isn't isn't hard. But... Well, if I don't smart enough... Uh, heavy intercessors. Yeah, if I'd have been smart enough, I'd have advanced them to try to, and get within range of Anchor here, it. Gotcha. Because they have assault and heavy, so... Okay. So, I understand what you're saying. Just in case anyone... So yeah, it could have happened. That would have been really good to get the captain onto that to grab that flank. Yeah, I'm trying to stay an inch out of the wall. So if anything tries to charge, then I have to get over the Up wall. Up and over the wall, yeah. Okay. All right, so let Mike make the moves of the bikes. I think it's a 12, 14 12. inch move. Yeah, and they can head off towards the copters. So Mike's saying it's kind of a shame this isn't a league game <laughs> for the Imperial Fist because they need a, a good strong performance if they're a standard chance. But we could we could do this as a league, and it'd be a grudge, I reckon, at the same time. We'll see how the game goes. But it's always a classic, this one. Love Imperial Fists against Sorks, the green skins against uh, the yellow wall here of the Imperial Fists. Movement's done. We're going to shooting next. Mike's going to go with these. The Eradicators with their captain, they're going to go into the battle wagon to try and destroy it if they can. Chris Heim. Chris Heim for firepower. He's Imperial. Space Marine player. All the rifles? Yeah, Melter rifle shots first. Uh, threes. Okay. Uh, Rerolling. Because of Oath, yeah, it's still on this thing. Well. Has a price on its head. Even without it. I can reroll the hit roll, the wound roll, and the damage roll. Hits as well? Vehicles and monster, yeah, for the total obliteration. Nice. Um. Strength nine, so fives. Fives to wound. This is the key roll here. Oh, two fives. Right, it's going to re-roll for the kill. Oh, no. two go through. So these are minus four. Five up in vulnerable saves. Oh, we block one. Okay. And I can't keep trying to roll for that thing. It's got nine wounds left. So go ahead. So D6. Yeah. Six. Oh, if I had a command re-rolled, wouldn't have blocked. Dropping down to three wounds left. It's nearly gone. Okay. And the multi melders. Yeah. Four, four shots. Four shots. These are hitting on fours. Okay. A hit. You draw one. Oh. 
Still five. one hit. Oh. Five to win reroll. No. 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 Mm. So our toughness has helped us. A couple of daiquiri shots from the captain. Yeah, three. That's about it. On twos. Well. And sixes. Nope. Do you get the reroll? No, because that's... That's a unit ability, right? By a model in this unit that targets, yeah, so... Mm. You can reroll, get the roll, yeah. I could be told different, but it says a model in this unit. He's yeah, in that unit. yeah, 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 I, 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 yeah. No. Nothing, but interesting. Yeah, it's still not quite totally sure on that one. Uh, as a general rule, it's cropped up a number of times. Okay, anyway, they finished, not destroyed the battle wagon. So who's next? There's a big queue here waiting to I'm blow this thing up. the Fire Strike Servo Turret. I must also mention primaries. Mike controlled this one, this one, and the one across the other side. Yeah, the intercessors passed their... Battleshock, yeah. Battleshock. It's 12 victory points picked up. It's a brilliant result for the fists. Um... Servo turret or I'll do the bonker. We we got down, we looked and Yes, it is possible. So crack shots coming through, two of them. Yeah. And the heavy bolters as well. Yeah, it's everything going into it. The angle's tight, but it's possible. So we're just gonna play uh that is a possibility. Oh, orcs. Well he Valhalla. Valhalla and Field Marshal Robert, yeah. That's uh, he's supporting us on Patreon and he's the commander today, yeah. So six shots hitting on. He'll be proud so far, Mike. So far. So far. Threes, because he sat still. Oft. Uh yeah. Sustained and sustained. Yeah. Sixes for wounds. Uh, it's twin linked. Didn't make a difference. One down. Oh, I'm not safe. Blocked. Then crack. Crack shot. Yeah. yeah. Freeze. <gasps> Looked as well. It's off. Didn't oh no. Two twos and two twos. Missed. Okay. Next Perfect. unit. Uh, servo turret. Really the only target. Well, I can go after bikes, but really it's. This is uh, what it's going to go after. <clears throat> yeah. Two so shots. Two shots. Hit on twos. Two hits. Fives. Yep. Twin linked. Well. Strength 10. Oh, is it? It's not a. Uh, oh, it's a Laz Talon. Laz Talon, yeah. Ah, uh, not a Laz Cannon. Gotcha. One wind. One wind minus three. Blocked on a five because of the wog. <laughs> Sad noises. Oh dear. Right, it's going to take a fourth unit to try and bring this thing down. Defiantly still alive. <sighs> the Brutalis. Just saying. Pistols? Oh, yeah. Three pistol shots on threes. A hit. That's twin linked. No, not twin linked. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Two hits, and then this will be sixes. No. Yeah, okay, next. Chaplin has one shot. Uh, Chaplin, yeah. It's sixes. It's, oh, I've seen it, but no. No. <sighs> There's two dreadnoughts here. Uh, I presume the Brutalis. I want the Brutalis in it, yeah. Yeah, all right, Brutalis. Uh, the melter shots. One success for one of the melters <laughs> would be enough. Two more melters hitting on threes. I was going to say Patreon, them, but it's too late, or maybe it's. Yeah, two hits come through. Strength nine, fives. Fives. There's one. Twin linked. Twin linked. Ah. Just the one. Five plus invulnerable save. Dave Humphreys. Now, David, now's your time. No, it goes through. I'll be D6 plus two. Dead. Damage well, of six. Uh, do we blow up? Of course we don't. Oh, we don't. All right, but target destroyed. Duh. We're all up here and figure out this mess, but the battle wagon has succumbed to a heap of Imperial Fist firepower. Okay, so disembarkation. We've played around disembarkation. If I go here, 
I tried to go there to, to obscure me from his firepower. No matter where I put the models, Mike could still see some. So still get a volley. So what's the point? So I've deployed back here. Um, I then thought about, well, what about cover? Uh, this, these shots are AP minus four. So whether I'm in cover or out of cover, I'm still going to get my five plus in vulnerable save from the wild. So I've gone here, semi in the open. Uh, it also means backing off that he will need a 10 inch charge as opposed to shorter if I was across there. So that's fine. It's a long distance charge. If Mike makes it, we'll be in trouble. Uh, he can tank shock me, plus his own built-in tank shock as well. So the Brutalis is dangerous on the charge. Uh, and it's, it's like the school bully. There's six of us, but he's way bigger. So we're going to try and just back off uh, and try and get the first kick in. We're trying to weigh it up like a playground fight here. So we're holding off. We took a wound. I'm going to take it away. This is a disembarkation because... We reckon the rule still applies. Uh, it's crumping time during the battle round in which you call a wag, you get a feel no pain of four plus. Mm -hmm. Feel no pains can be used on damage from disembarkation. It's a feel no pain. You yeah. suffered pain. We'll take it. Okay, so no wounds coming through at all. So that's the way it sits. Fire power from him is done. We do have the Redemptor Dreadnought. Mm -hmm. So everything's in range. Into the Mega Yeah. Right, I, that's a tough unit. I'm going to play a CP, <clears throat> and I'm going to play a stratagem called Arda's Nails, uh, which is basically minus one to your wound roll. So it becomes fours to wound instead of threes, just to try and protect us a little bit. He's saying to Longbow BB for firepower running our Patreon here. Yep. Longbow for the shooting. So we'll start with the Echo Strong Pod for D3 shots. Put two. I'm itching to get into close combat with these space marines. This is dragged on for too long. Please. <laughs> we'll let Mike have his fun. He can build his sand castles here with the, <laughs> the Imperial Fist, but the Orcs is like that big bully that walks across and everyone's sand castles at the beach. Oh, wait, that's my sand. <laughs> anyway, carry on. So what are you doing? Minus one. Yeah, minus one to the wing roll. Two damage. Okay. Uh, okay, go ahead. And blocked. Yeah. I'm going to block everything. <laughs> Smash it. Um, we have frag storm grenade launcher. Okay. D six shots for five. Blast plus one. Yep. Four, five, six. This is head on threes, and then strength. Four toughness. Six. So five twin linked. One and two. two. No AP. Twos. Passed. They're my best hope on this flank. So I really want to try and keep them in good shape if I can. Stay out of trouble for now <clears throat> and survive this firepower will be in a, a good enough situation. Microplasma. Yeah. D6 plus one plus another one. Ooh. Seven. seven shots. Three, four, six, seven. Ah, oh, just nails in play. Mm hmm. Uh, threes. Threes for hits. And then it will be fours now. Fours to win, so threes. Does this help? Yeah, there's two threes, three threes in there. So just, just the, the one. one instead of four. Five plus for the Gah blocked. Shrugged the lot. And I take three. <laughs> and has us on top of that. Whew, boy, oh boy. Okay, so heavy intercessors are gonna split the fire. They're the false two really. Uh, the ones that can't see across here are just gonna go into the York boys on the objective. And then the rest are going to fire through in this direction. You're going after the truck or the Gorkonaut, Mike? The truck. The truck, okay. Yeah. Mike will use the heavy bolters first of all. Yeah. Um, Any zero CP once per thing with your captain? I can really help him out at this point. No. Okay. No, yeah. uh, these are fours. And sustained hits of one. Okay. Strength five, toughness five. Five, so fours. Go ahead. 
three. Mm. Just one. Too much. And you can take them off. That's the end of them. And they're away. Yep. Okay, and it gates the rest, and the ones that we declared that could four. see through are going after the truck. So four of them. Mm. Shooting at three, four. Shooting the wrong threes. And uh, no sustain for anything there. And then fives. Fives are deep. That's three. Three. Minus one. Cup fours. And block them all on triple four. Okay, there's the bikers and the inceptors. Yeah, so they heal to clear them for devastating ones in the shooting. Right. And everything just under that. Fine, go ahead. So the two bikers. Hitting them on threes. And then strength four. Fives. Uh, fives, yeah. Just the one minus one. Minus, if it's a minus one, it goes through. Minus one, yeah. Yep. One damage. One wound, yeah. Okay, drop down to three. The, uh, did any of them miss, feel the wound? Uh, there's two rerolls in there for two foul wounds because you're twin linked. Twin linked gotcha. And then the child one, I should have gone him at the same time because it was all hitting on the same. Nope. Yeah. Okay, Inceptors? Uh, yep, Inceptors were my next one. Everything into the bubble choppers, there aren't bubble choppers. Yeah, bubble chucker wannabes. Three, six, nine. Right. Here we go. Bang on Real this. good roll. Yeah, so we want to go for... Max it out on Maxfield Knuckles. Yep. Okay. Threes. Yep, threes. Looking for a lot of sixes. There's a few, there's a few. Yeah, but it's... If you've missed, those four can just be added straight back, back in. in. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Strength five. Toughness five, so not too bad. Five's Ooh. to win. Or oh, four's to win, sorry, yeah. 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 It's good. It's a good roll. Six. Minus. Minus one. Two damage. I can go here, surely, on him for cover. Add, which would negate the minus one. But my armor save is a five plus. It truly is terrible. So we'll roll these carefully. I'm going to roll three here, right? Because you might be able to destroy this quite quickly. We are a six wind model. We're blocking them. We're blocking them, and I kind of done a dumb thing. Yes, I know. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking at it now. You just put yourself. Unless I roll a five plus. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. It's all right. Um, if you hadn't caught on, I was rolling it on the objective guy. Orcs is stupid, but oh, Grotz is dumb, and I'm worse than a Grot because that was my decision making there. <laughs> but uh, but for all of our low IQ, uh, we have the Xenos dice, so that's helped me out and salvaged the situation. We'll take four damage and drop down to two. Oh, that shouldn't have happened, but Grotz, no. ducking round a corner, managed to keep themselves alive and retain control of the home objective. Ugh, right, okay. So, I think firepower's finished. We'll go on to charges next, Imperial Fists. Uh, it's in this game, more charges in the Orcs. We'll go on to charges next. All right, Mike wants to do the difficult one first. 10 inch charge to go dead ahead. Huge roll. It's possible, we've seen it done plenty of times. Yep. <clears throat> Drop dice. Mine got that. If I do get charged, it's not the be all and end all. But eight. All right, does Mike go for the command reroll? He does. Oh, oh, desperate stuff. So it takes away the, the tank shock. Oh. Losing the tank shock, yeah. yeah. No, seven. All right, doesn't go ahead, orcs. 
uh, initiative swings back over to them. Bikers, this is virtually a guaranteed charge, and it goes ahead and a seven, so the bikers can push in. That's good enough of a stretch to get the chaplain in quite comfortably as well. Of course, I can make a fierce one around Yeah, as long as you make base, you can wrap round with him, or make base with contacts. Chaplain, all good, all good, everyone's in. As presume nobody else uh, is going to try and go for a charge. Mm. Mm, maybe, looking heavy intercessors, not really the the usual use for them, but they've got a captain with them. They yeah. can try and swamp my objective to cause a disruption. Yeah, because you're trying to terraform that one now, aren't you? Yeah. Make the Gorgonaut happy. <laughs> yeah. You can think about this one, unless you've made a decision already. No. Yeah, no, hold off. Right. No, I have a plan for that. Okay. All right. Yeah, I just want to give too much away. We're going to combat resolution then for the one close combat taking place. I don't, I'm presuming Chaplain now wants to hold. Um, no, because I don't want to die. Yes. Good space marine proverb. Yeah, no, I'll leave it. Just the one then. Uh, so, chaplain, striking first here against the choppers. Three to hit the chaplain. Uh, the, the bikers first. Bikers first. So, on this. Strength four. Five's the four, isn't it? Force to wind, yeah. Chaplain got plus one to the wind rolls. That's helped a little bit. Three minus one is one damage. Fives. Uh, two wounds make it three. So down to one. And one win left, yeah. That one. I have attacks at one twos. Roll a bit. Strength six, toughness. Toughness six. Threes to win. Threes. One, two damage. Just minus one. Right, so we'll roll this one at a time. First one. Mm, did you say minus one? Minus one. Dead. And the other one. One gets through, one blocked. So two wounds on the other, dropping down to two wounds left. Just checking to see if they've got deadly demise. No, they don't. That's okay. All right, so one chopper fighting back. Uh, here we've got spinning blades. Six attacks, name threes. Take away those ones and have one back in for sustained. And we are coming at strength five, strength six, I think, because it's a wag. Threes, then. Threes. Extra attack as well, by the way, which hits. And nothing special, no AP minus. So we're looking at uh, four. Four. Yeah. So of those four, I, I should reroll, not reroll, I need to roll a wound roll. Uh, which failed. So three in total, no AP minus, and saves a three plus. Ah, two sneak through, it's not enough to destroy a bike though, it's one with three wounds left. So drop it down to one wound left. Bit of a tussle over on that flank, but uh, it's in favour there for the biker squad. We'll zoom in so you can see what's going on. There it is. Now, what we don't like about that is this flank's wide open now and Space Marines have swung right the way around and really threatening our home objective. So Orcs, tactically not in very good shape. Uh, one good, ele good element for us is the control of that central objective, which we've terraformed as well. So that'll be useful enough. Uh, end of turn, everything resolved. We will calculate points. So points coming through, really strong on primaries. 12 points coming through for that. Another two points picked up for engaging all fronts. Mike stumped storm hostile objective. And that's it. So taking the Imperial Fists to 16 points. A good enough surge uh, from them. And the Orcs currently on two. They've got a turn in hand. I think they're about to pick up... Yeah, well, I think they're about to pick up 10 points. We'll see what comes up here for the Orcs for secondaries, but the Orcs are certainly not out of the fight yet. There is a warg going on, uh, and we'll see if they can make it into combat here and see how effective they are against these Imperial Fist units. Orcs being attacked, that's not right. We've got to do something about this. I think now's the time for the Orcs to try and uh, push through against these Space Marines and see how well they do. Turn two uh, for Gut Ripper's lads coming up next. <laughs>
Right, so we moved the orcs, uh, we drew the extra card and dumped one, so recover assets was the card uh, that we dumped, and then we've kept Cull the Horde, it is applicable, uh, we can go after the Heavy Intercessor squad across the other side, to actually wipe them out those going to be tough, then Defend Stronghold is the other one, trying to uh, defend the Stronghold currently held by Grotz. So for the orcs, uh, not everything's been forwards here, we've had to, we're going to try and clear our lines and, and uh, clear this area as much as we can. Across here, a bit of a bottleneck taking place. There's these two units to take on, but look at all this high quality stuff stacked up further behind. So there's a, a battle, multi turn battle uh, lining up here over on this flank. A, a mini fight taking place uh, for this objective, in contrast, really, to the, the other side, which is uh, very empty uh, with that objective. 10 points picked up for primaries for the orcs. These orc boys happy to camp out in the central objective, keep that terraforming uh, points harvest going on. Haven't moved, scared of Overwatch, sat still. Uh, moved five, not advanced. I think we're close enough, hopefully. Bikers have pushed through as much as they can, but keeping the path clear for our charge. We can try and put some Dakar in this direction. Roll a one for him, it's a slow progress and pushing through. So it's a shame he's not really going to get involved this turn, but perhaps on future turns. Uh, then across the other side, uh, Ripper with a slightly higher HQ, uh, perhaps noticing the bike is swinging around on the flank. So he's uh, tapped the driver uh, of this thing to push forward the Gorkonaut to go ahead. But he's hopped out the back with his lads to try and take on uh, the bikers and the chaplain. Backing out close combat with the copter. Uh, and then the Gorkonaut, as we've seen, pushing through. The truck moved first and advanced through to here. This has raised a question about terrain. Uh, there's probably going to be mixed opinion about this one. So we've talked about, as Mike and I have been discussing this one, vehicles, tanks, gorkonauts and so on, pushing through terrain such as walls and pipes. So we have played it. So that if you come to a wall section or a pipe, you can just move it out of the way or, or just end up straddled on top of it and so on. If it's something like this, vehicles and big walkers and so on. Uh, we're saying you can't do it with bikers and infantry. Uh, that may not be technically what the rules say. It may be the case that you cannot do this kind of thing, like with a truck on top of the wall uh, here for now. Realistically, why wouldn't the truck break through the wall and so on? Uh, but let us know what you think in the comments section. Are we playing this correctly? Do you think we're playing narratively, perhaps? Or perhaps we have got it exactly right, that these things are only obstacles and barricades for things such as infantry. We'll keep checking the rules here. Uh, maybe that'll give us the official answer. We're going to play it this way, uh, where things like Gorkonaut and truck and so on that uh, can go through fences, walls uh, and pipes. So that's the current situation. So let us push through to here and sit on this objective. All right, so we put the wall back up. We've checked the rules. It says that models, whatever that model may be, you cannot land on top of uh, the terrain. So he's okay. He made it through and has managed to position himself where he's not on top of anything. Uh, you can go for a swing around sideways shunt into here to fight. That's okay. The truck can't, though. Unless it's here, for example, and it manages to get all the way across to here, that's fine. So perhaps re representing the limitations that walls and pipes would have on vehicles coming through. So as frustrating as it is, these are obstacles and barricades here to so stop the truck from going through. In which case, just swing it around here just to get it out of the way. It had to move first to let the Gorkonaut through. So that's all been corrected. Let us know what you think of that in the comment section below. We're going to stick to the Official rules uh, here in this situation. We'll go on to shooting phase for the Orcs next. Storm boys have not arrived. I'm going to keep them off the board for now. All right, moment of truth for the Grots. Save yourselves. 2d6 shots. Michael German, firepower. Here we go. Five shots. I've got a bad feeling about this. Oh, give me bubbles. Fours. All right, good for you. AP minus one though. I'm gonna try and wound you on three. He's two ones. Oh, and you're gonna save this one. No. No. Got him. Damage six. Kasplat. <laughs> Kill one, but that's not enough. Oh dear, Grotz. Right, okay. Not yeah, Nobs will not shoot at the bikers. The closest model's got one wound left. Uh, he is precious to us. We will keep him alive for now. Add it just to let us get into close combat. So zero, nothing. Gut Ripper says, no, don't. Don't even think about it, guys. Just wait. <laughs> so don't shoot at them. Uh, nothing from those. Uh, Gorkonaut next. 
That's uh, everything the Gorgonaut has into the bunker. That's, we're not going to go into the uh, the models are in our intent to try and charge them. Ugh, right, okay, so we are looking at the Death Storm Mega Shooter. Micro check for 18 inches, maybe. Measuring from the claw of the base. Oh, yeah, yeah, no. Got it. Steven from base, yeah. All right, 30 shots. And then your toughness. <clears throat> Can't be 12. 12. It is 12. Six to win them. So, fives. And sixes. Ha! A wound. Minus one, if you've got cover, you can take that. And it the wound matter. sneaks <laughs> in. Alright, so one wound caused. Down to 13. Two twin big shooters. Uh, two sixes. There's one. Twin linked. One save normal. Fine. Okay, and then rockets. Rocket launchers. Two of them. Four shots. Fives. Two hits. Two wounds caused. Interesting. Minus two. Uh, four ups. Sneaked in. Six damage in total on the bunker. Down to seven wounds left. Uh, so dropping down to seven wounds left. Overwatch, by the way, Mike did use it, and he overwatched the Gorkonaut, and no damage coming through. So no wounds caused on that thing as yet. It's all right. It's actually OC of eight. It's quite good for getting onto objectives. Mm. Uh, bit of Dacker from him. There's no real target, so that's him finished. So we'll switch to firepower across here. Right, across it. Spending a CP. It's six dice, right? Yep. Yeah, I'm going to grenade the Dreadnought. With the bikers, would you believe? And yes, before you ask, it can be done. Because we have the grenades keyword, as Mike has pointed out in previous games and used so effectively. Fours, a wind. Wonderful. <laughs> so drop On the dreadnought, was it? Yeah. On the brutalis, yeah. So drop it down to Whoa, 11, probably. Okay. So uh, grenades first, then the biker shots, death killer war trike. It's all going to go into the intercessors and chaplain. So we'll start with the Death Killer War Track. I think we'll go with his shooting first of all. So first up, we'll go with Boom Sticks here. Sneak Fives. Not bad. So I just want to check something out. Yeah, it's plus one to hit rolls for melee. Three to wound. Two saves of normal. Two saves of three plus. This is uh, Boom Stick shots coming through. And the wound sneaks through. So there's a model. Uh, losing a wound, we'll just mark him up with a Xenos E1. Then we have the burner or cutter. We'll go burner on this one. So, five, yeah, yeah. old facing, yeah. Add, so it's torrent and three to wound. Uh, three make it for it, minus one. Three saves a four plus. Triple five, nice. So that's his firepower done. Add. Then bikers, they've all got themselves within nine. It's the closest targets, bit of extra AP minus one. And I think they're going to be on about five shots each. Correct. So 30 shots with these. Again, I think we'll get plus one to hit rolls for shooting. So fives and sixes. Yeah. I think Orc players waste a lot of time rolling dice. <laughs> oh, I feel like collecting custodians. <laughs> oh, please. Yeah, there's a couple in there. What's the strength level? Strength five. Yeah. Yeah, they're all wounded. And minus one. Six, five saves of four plus. Two, four, six. Uh, one down five, two. five, five, five. One more. Take one away, that's it. Uh, just one damage, yeah. yeah. One, two, and a bit. Okay. 
Interesting. And then we'll turn to the Megalobs. They'll go for the same target. Going to try and clear those infantry out of the way. So, uh, rapid fire combi weapons. Looking for fives. We've got a few. Devastating wounds on fours. And we've got three. So it slays the sergeant and two wounds on the chaplain. Down to two. Down to two wounds left on him. Like so. And then the war boss actually has a grot and a machine gun on his shoulder. Five shots, then fours. Then threes. Two saves of three plus. Oh no, please. One and two. How many wounds has he got? What's that? The shovel and answer? That's it. That's the last of the firepower. Literally, there's nothing else left to go. So, if you can pass a three up save, you'll keep them alive. If I can pass a three up save. Yeah. Is it worth it? Just saying. But I don't know. Um, well, if you make a charge. He's actually springboard for my charge. If I charge him and then roll into the dreadnought. No, I like that one. Just saying. Yeah. <laughs> He's going to go save the CP. Save the CP. Okay, Chaplain Leonatus is gone. Usually the first character to go for the yeah, Imperial Fist. Just, yeah. Pretty much every yeah, game. Right. But first in, first to die, right? Mm -hmm. That's James's proverb he come, he come up with. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Not the best of proverbs, is it really? You wouldn't really want to sign up. No. <laughs> first in, first to die. All right, we'll go on to charges next year. Five pounds finished. All right, so charges taking place. Ugh, mostly. So charging across here, going in with these first. Uh, then had a realisation, I rolled a 10 for a charge, so we're going to scoot around here. But as uh, heroic intervention, Mike's got 2 CP, and I didn't want another Dreadnought getting involved. So we used the biggest model first to block the way that was Grog the Whopper, keeping the lads back and funneling them across in this direction. I'm going to try and take on one Dreadnought, destroy one Dreadnought, and then just take the hit after that. It's left the bikers here with no way of pushing through. So they're going to sit, but they are on the objective. Nothing for him. And then across the other side, I can just zoom in so you can see uh, this charge has gone ahead quite successfully. And a number of orc knobs pushing through to the right-hand side to reach to the chaplain just to get further across uh, that flank and across that direction. Gorkanor rolled a three for a charge. Come on, re-rolled it. Uh, and then rolled a five, which wasn't enough. Six would have done it, but no charge has gone ahead. With him, sadly. So, not going ahead with the Gorkonaut. He's difficult to manoeuvre around the board. And he's fouled a charge here. So, but they're quite cheap. At, well, it's 280 points. It's about the same as my Land Raider. Land Raider, yes. He's not bad. You get, a lot of, you get a lot of metal for your, po <laughs> for your points. We're going to combat resolution. The key one for the Orcs is to try and uh, bring down this Brutalis. Okay, so fighting across here. Arnold Contempt? Yeah. And he's doing it. Okay, so Mike's going to try and protect this dragon. It'll be a nightmare for the orcs if this thing uh, is not brought down. We'll see what we can do. We've gone for the old combination. I'm not sure about Mega Knobs. They don't get many attacks. If I go for Kill Swords, you just get two. Need fours. Our damage output's low. There's no devastating wounds. You could do twin Kill Swords, but you get no shooting. But anyway, we've gone for Power Claws this time around. Three attacks each becomes four attacks each. So 20 attacks in total. Thankfully, with Grog, we're on plus one to the hit rolls. So we go to threes and sixes for sustained hits. Oh dear. Well, that's not so good. Uh, one sustained. Yeah, these Xenos dice, they just don't quite feel right. I need, like, oh, my green, ones. green dust. Yeah, I may be passing that one, Mike. Really <laughs> on. Not the right shade. Uh, <laughs> we'll try a wound here on just straight up fives. Strength 10. Toughness? 10. So All right, fours. All right, take fours. No kind of devastating wounds. And this is your moment of truth. Six. Hmm. Six. Uh, minus, minus two. two minus, one. minus one. Three ups. He's going to live. He's turned into a Patreon. I Vagabond. Know. Last one. <gasps> <gasps> um, uh, 
the ball. Get in there. Making ups have bounced. Um, ugh. that's terrible. Good Patre man. Good man. Man. Patreons. Right, the whopper. Here we go. Twos. Come on, give me a ton of sixes. Right, they've all hit, but no sixes. Ah, that's my last chance. Uh, three to wind. Now, come on. <gasps> Just the two. There's nothing I can do. Add. So this is uh, we'll boss and mega armor. So we're looking at uh, minus two, minus one. Oh boy. Freeze. Yeah. I've totally bounced. I can't believe it. That would have been damage three if any of those had got through. Absolutely nothing. Zero wounds for all of this muscle and might. That's horrific. That is really bad. Okay. Orcs. Uh, there's a big rethink, I think, coming for the orcs. But we'll see. Uh, so no interrupt taking place. Uh, Mike's going to prepare to fight with the Brutalis. I think he's going to be happy enough that things on a level wound. still very, very healthy indeed. <clears throat> and that's uh, put this orc flank in a precarious position. We'll turn to knobs, though, uh, with the Ripper. I'm going to fight first with Ripper. A little bit annoyed. <laughs> see what Ripper can do. So we're going to fight with a... Power Claw, four attacks. It is a Warg, so you get extra four attacks. So eight attacks. Come on, Ripper. Show us how it's done. Needing twos, actually, so it looks not so good, but actually we do okay. Yeah, needing twos, because leading unit plus one. Whew. Gonna try and wound on threes. Twos, actually. Strength, 11. Oh, yeah. Good for you, Ripper. No kind of upgrades on him, just a bare bones boss. Six make it through at AP minus two. Three, four, six. So five is on the regulars, and then um, four is on the chaplain. Yeah, so many, how much damage is it? Damage two each time. So he's trying to one, so I'll try him. Blocked. No. Not blocked dead, okay. So one will be two. Two, yeah, yeah, fair enough. Block both. both. Block one, all right. So, so one wound left on him and remove that model. Uh, two damage, didn't you say? Yeah, yeah two damage, so down, yeah. To two, yeah. down to two, yeah. Okay, arms holding. We'll hand over to the bodyguard. 40 attacks. And in threes. They're all armed with power claws, the whole lot. Two sustained. We're not getting many sustained here. Then we're look, again, we're looking at twos to wound, I believe. Could be wrong on that one. Power claw, strength nine, strength ten. Yeah, it tips us over. This is just with half. It's only half? Yeah. <laughs> 14. 14 minus two. Damage. Damage two. So fives, just one at a time on one yeah. dice. Nope. Gone. And then 13 saves on the cha <laughs> on the chaplain. He'll be chopped up and made into tinned squig food. They last longer than normal as well. <laughs> Outrider and chaplain flavour. <laughs> oh, my favourite, <laughs> says the squig. <laughs> <laughs> so no further movement available with those. They've cleared out their target and done. It's a bit out of shape, though. We were meant to go over there. But I think we had to go for those flanking bikers just to clear them out of the way. Uh, so, Brutalis to strike back shouldn't have happened. And I'm just looking at the contrast of these two units. At 210 points for the knobs. Yep. And Mega Knobs, 200. <sighs> I don't know. It's a tough one. But there's just not much punch for these. Anyway. They went into the right unit, though. That's the thing. Yeah, yeah. well, true. True, true. Yeah. Right. Uh, Talon, so strike, six attacks, hitting on threes. Yep. Okay. Couple of fouls, yep. So, strength 12. Twos, you got it. Yeah. Four, minus two, flat three. All right. Minus four. Two. No, minus two. Minus two, all right, good. So you go four ups then. I guess you're getting a bit of toughness. We're able to block that. Uh, and then your damage of three. Three, yeah. Yeah, right, so the first one. Four up through no pain, because the wag's still going on. So that's kept that up way. 
And then we'll try and keep that model alive and force almost. All right, it's enough to kill one. So you can't really complain. Okay. All right, so one slain, that's that resolved. And uh, looking around, I think that's about it. All right, so end of turn, points coming through. 10 points for primaries for the orcs. I'd be glad that we got those points coming through. And then two points from the previous turn. So 12 points in total. Uh, it's, there could be more points coming through. Defend stronghold, we'll see how that goes. And we dumped the other card to pick up a CP. So currently it stands at 16 points to 12 at the end of turn two. The game is still all to play for. Orcs bouncing add across here, which has been disappointing for them. It's a real bottleneck across here on this fight. This really could determine the game, uh, how this goes. We're occupying the centre quite well. And the Orcs have cleared a threat over on their left-hand side. So good news and bad news for the Orcs. Imperial Fists, everything they have is on the board. We'll see how they are able to press on with the fight. Looking stronger, much stronger across here. Uh, as for the rest of the battlefield, we'll see how it goes. Turn three, middle stage of the game for the Imperial Fists next. So boom for the Imperial Fists on their third turn. Overwhelming Force and behind enemy lines is the two cards in play. Uh, Mike did draw a third card, which he dumped, uh, using up that ability a second time uh, in this game. So... At backing off and shifting to their right to claim this objective, this is where they will stand and this is where they will die with the heavy intercessors and their captain. That's it for them, really. There's no one else. There's no one else coming to save them. They're on their own now. Uh, a regular move, so you better shoot and so on. No, advance. Advanced, but yeah. they have assault, so they can't. Okay, good. All right. That's why I advanced them. Yeah. Uh, it's bunker in position, down to half strength. Uh, Incept, I will show you from the other side of the board. Uh, happy to sit here again. Perhaps scared of Overwatch. Not scared, but you know, taking it into account. Uh, if Mike's successful and he destroys this one, it's going to mark up my control of the objective. So, duh. Under defense stronghold. I've probably been better. Char I should have charged you. Mm -hmm. Right then, over on this flank, remaining close combat. Moving up the dreadnought. Moving up the eradicators. This this funnel here. This bottleneck going on. Uh, holding position. Intercessors moving around. Their objectives looking generally safe there's the deep striking danger mike sort of covered his angles and range here with the bunker and these it's created a yeah they can come in over there my two squads of storm boys but mike's got enough models just to cover this area with the nine inches uh, but to move around here to lend some firepower support at least and that's movement done pyrophis looking stronger across here uh it's still some more resistance so to try and crush we're going to shooting phase next so Shoot and chop his way through. It might take a while. The rest have moved up to get their shots beyond this and over into these units. Uh, we're going to shooting it. Lots available, especially over on this flank. Yeah, Mike, the master of the grenade stratagem, is going to use a CP for the heavy intercessors to mm -hmm. chop grenades. Nice unit to put food in there. Or zero CP it for the captain. Mm -hmm. Do it. Save a CP. Great. Six dice and fours. Just as just when I thought you were completely out of anti tank. Use grenades. Yeah, right. Especially when you can get five out of six. Yep. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> dropping down five wounds. Nice. So, fantastic result. Dropping down to 15 wounds left. And the rest of the firepower is going into the knobs around the corner. There's models around the corner, so Mike can see all of them. Uh, heavy intercessors have the assault keyword. I'm going to try and gun down uh, Ripper's bodyguard. As efficiently as possible. So six heavy bolter shots hitting on fours. Okay. Uh, Rerolling because of oh. over the moment. Yes, should have said Mike's put over the moment onto the and Ripper squad. One sustained. Yep. Strength five toughness five. Fours. Fours to win. Three. Three come through at minus one. Minus one. I put it on boys in cover. Four ups. Oh, please, no. Good on it, <laughs> Yeah, take off three. Ouch. God, that's painful, that is. Oh, boy. Okay, regular firepower. Eight. Yeah. Okay. On threes. And this is why they were up. Yeah, I should moment. Just to 
kill those three. That's like nine attacks stripped away, making all the difference trying to destroy that squad. Uh, fours again. Wow. So two, four, six, seven, uh, minus one. Yeah, we'll go to lads in cover. Still got plenty in cover, and we block most. Three more wounds to come through. It's going to slay one and put a wound on another. Hold it. And then this will be five to the wound. This is the gravest captain. One. He's picked up a wound. That's only minus one, so. Uh, blocked. All right. Okay, five power done. Not too bad at all. Killing four, nearly half the squad. So I used models in cover, fine, uh, but it's meant that the bunker can still see the ones in the open. Yep, so what I'll do is I will put the... Crack missiles into the Gorkon. Yeah, I think so. You have to. Yeah. So the heavy bolt array will go into here, six shots. Yep. It's a perfect weapon. Two, four, six. Uh, needing threes. And we're rolling. Two sustained. Wow. Forced to win. Twin linked. Good dice rolling. Oh Two, boy, four, another six. seven. Seven. You'll get your cover again. Minus one, two damage. Well, yeah, we'll go carefully here. So we've got uh, cover save. Past. Uh, I can do another three cover saves. Pass those on triple five. That's insane. And <laughs> pass those as well on a four, five, and six. Ugh, Xenos dice. Exceptionally above average that time around. I can't look Mike in the eye, so we'll, <laughs> we'll move on to something else. Super crack shots here. Threes. Two hits. Fives. Fives. No. Alright, bouncing off the Gorkonaut's armor. Mike's gonna do the trademark split fire mic here, so we're gonna fire in two different directions, the Cowboys of the Galaxy yep. uh, here. So three shots either way. If this works, it will be glorious. <laughs> it needs to work. So three shots into the copter first? Yeah. Threes. Threes. Sixes are great. Two no, hits. Two. Five's to win. Or even fours, maybe. Well, Five or six, anyway. Minus one. Got him. Two damage, yep. Take him off. All right, so far, so good. Copters, another doubtful unit here. Yeah. Next one under there. Uh, three. Three's and sixes would be great. We've got... Sustain two. Sustain two, yeah. oh, Five hits. He's going to do it. Strength five, toughness five, fours. Well done. Four. Four at minus one. Minus one, two damage. Minus one, plus one, I'm up to fives. I believe. Please. One at a time. Yeah, because uh, one was in the open, correct. And just taking my armor save, taking my toughness, all good. Yeah, everything's been done correctly. So five plus. Dead. And the one in, open, in the open is sixes. Yep. Oh no, it's minus one. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, sixes then, yeah. <laughs> two damage each. You've done more than what I'd said you'd hoped for. <laughs> You've not just only destroyed him, you've actually wiped out the entire unit. And all the grots. Yay. Obviously. I just... Okay. Split fire worked. It did this time around, gloriously. That's incredible, well done. York back line's been gutted here by the Inceptors. What a useful unit. That's uh, Intercessor Squad. Not so bad against here because there's four wounds left. They've got lethal hits because there's Lieutenant with them. Mm. So, Lieutenant Cletus. Yep, so the crack grenades on threes. Two shots on threes. Uh, and that's lethal, well done. Yep. Strength nine, so three. Threes. Yes. Minus two. Not going to get cover because that wall only helps infantry. They both go through. D3 each. <gasps> Dead. Don't blow up. We don't. Gah. Gah, the wheels are falling off. I don't know what's going on. Yes, yeah, crazy. My casualties. Look at them. There's heaps of them. 
Okay, well done. The Brutalis Dreadnought will shoot into combat. Yep. That would be minus one. Yes. So the log's not in the moment. We've lost our four plus add for no pain. We have an inbun save, but it's six up, I believe. No, we don't. Know. We don't even have an inbun save. Nothing. So, twin Melba. Two shots. Um, I haven't moved. No, heavy. Heavy. Yeah. Everything against a heavy keyword. So it'll be threes back to threes. I uh, understand what you're saying, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Threes. Well remembered. One hit comes through. Threes. Nine. Threes for a wind. Yep, minus four. Yep. D6. That's a twin link, by the way. Ah, uh, yeah, go ahead. Yep. Uh, I'll try and block that one. No. And it's auto kills. Yeah, D6 plus two. Oh, yeah, it has to be, yeah. So I'll take that one and that one, try to keep models in range of the objective. Okay, two gone. Really good shooting. Uh, Icarus Heavy Stubber. Six shots. Rapid fire. Back to freeze again. Yeah, because you gain heavy. Got it. Yep. Yep. All Whoa, of them. Hit. Yep. Strength four, shot the five to the wound. Yep. Twin linked. Uh, four sixes. See, five minus one, one damage. Three ups. You block those, ting, ting, ting. Okay. Yeah, Mike's worried about me taking casualties from the front, so he's going to turn to the Eradicators next to put their firepower into the bikes. Snow Bunch is coming through the Eradicator squad. It's not their ideal target, but shoot at it, they must. Uh, four shots with multi melters and four shots with melter rifles. Okay, so explain what you're doing. This sounds quite tasty. Battle drill recall. Um, weapons equipped is the same hit one. Yes. Uh, but if you remain stationary. On modified hit rolls, a five scores are cut over hits. So yeah, it's that still. So fives will pop extra hits. Yeah. Yeah, so worth doing. So, one, two, multi melters, uh, four shots. Okay. Hitting on. Threes. Is it heavy, yeah? Yes. Mm, okay, but that pops an extra. Because of five plus, yeah. Because they already have the heavy keyword, I get plus one to my wound. Fine, twos. Twos. Yes. Three. Minus four. Yeah, uh, against the bikers, I think you're cutting your way straight through. So uh, it looks like we've got in one save here, six plus three of them so far. Sixes. Nothing too free to melt away. Uh, so the first one. Four. Four, well done. The next one. That's the six. Uh, yeah. And then the last one on that one is four. <gasps> yeah, ouch. Well done. This one's the knob here. Uh, how many is there enough then for the single shots? Four. So four. Kind of rooting for Mike here because this is a great display. Twos. Right, yeah. Fives would be great. Oh, triple six, come on. Right, those Imperial Fists will be manacled to that army forever. I don't care what anyone says from now on, how bad anyone rolls. Those yellow dice go with that army, and that is it. The Emperor has decreed it so. Two, twos? <laughs> yes. So let it be written, so let it be done. Now I'll drop two. Five. Because he's getting past the bodyguard. He could be on to the, the main man. Um, Talking of the main man, <clears throat> I've got a better end one, so. Anyway, so we're looking at sixes to block these. I'm going to roll three, right, to start off with. And there's five in total. Sixes to block. Ha! We block two. So that one does go through. You can roll damage on one of these, just for now. We got him. All right, so we're going to have to go to this one. Oh, we kind of got one model left. 
Uh, okay, so I'm going to go for it's this model here, right? Need a six. You got him. And you got him. So I can't allocate to him. It's got to go on him. And I'll take his in one save a six plus. And we block. Okay, we're not out of the woods yet though. There is a Redemptor Dragonaut still available to shoot. A bit of Dacker available from your captain also. There is, yeah. Three shots. Then twos. Sustained, right, fine. Yeah, 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 definitely. And then uh, five still wind. And triple, or two sixes two been sixes. rolled. Minus one, one damage. Uh, two go through. Now we're not dead. I actually got four wounds. <clears throat> Mike's still got options here. Servo turret's going to unleash its firepower into these. Jules. Oh. Did not read it. Strength 10. Um, mm. Toes. Mm, we'll check. Toughness 6, no. No. Uh, twin length. Ah! Yeah, definitely not on a 1. Okay. Uh, so it's going to have to be the redempt right now. Redemptor Drake not. I take it it's just going to be everything it has into these. Yep. Here we go. But well, it's going to hang out as to shoot at. I guess the, the game's not balanced out here because you've got about seven to eight hundred points stacked up over on this side. So you would... I just need to clear one side and then I and burst through. Something yeah. on that objective and then burst through to the rest. Sure. Yeah. Um, the Icarus. Rabbit pod D3 shots for three. Um, <clears throat> threes. Uh, strength eight. Threes to win. Threes. Uh, yep, no, that's it. Uh, minus one. Got him. Damage two. Damage. Yeah. Twin frag storm grenade launcher. D6 for three. Hitting on threes. One hit and then. Toughness on. Well, you actually know you're, you're still going simultaneous against my unit, so you are looking at toughness six. So fives. Uh, it's twin linked. Nope. All right. Now the micro plasma simulator. D6 plus one. D6 plus one. You drop five. Well six. done. So six attacks. One, five, six. Threes. Okay. Your dice are looking okay. Threes. Strength nine. Yep. Ah, oh, three of them fail. Five plus invulnerable save. Not blocked. Whatever your damage is. Three. Three. All right, dropping down to six wounds left. Not down and out of it. I guess the bodyguard doing their job. And so Zog's still alive. And Hazardous has been passed. Whew, okay, a lot of firepower down this direction. Orcs have suffered, not being wiped out entirely. Uh, it's still got some models alive across here. So Imperifist not quite clearing this flank. He's lingering around as well. Keep an eye on him. Yeah, if you're going to go for it. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Oh, boy, 10-inch charge across here. No. Your attacks are dwindled now, whether or not. Seriously, yeah, I'll be chipping away at wounds uh, here against this Brutalis. Uh, the odds are in your favour for sure. Yeah, so no command reroll across there. As frustrating as it is, no charges across here because too much stuff's in the way. So we'll resolve this combat. We'll go. Uh, so I will push in. With him, tap in base contact, and that'll do. And Mike's paying a C for armor contempt. Yep. Oh, please. <laughs> so, the problem for me is I've got to survive. Otherwise, I'm going to have, if these two go, there's no one on this objective. So, this is a crucial moment here. I'm expecting perhaps too much from these Mega Knobs. Uh, so, we're looking at six dice with power claws, needing threes. I need a heap of sixes. Okay, well, they've all hit with a sustain. We'll now try and wound on fives. Q 
Oh, we do get four. I can't complain. No devastating wounds or anything like that. AP minus two becomes AP minus one. So it's four saves of three plus. Your fate is in your hands. And he's passed them all again. Gah. We'll go to Grog the Whopper. See if we can cause a single wound against this thing. Four attacks. They've all hit. Three's to wound. Ugh, two wounds come through. Minus one, two saves of three plus. And passed both again. The Dreadnought will not die. Ugh. And do you know how much this thing is? It's dropped. It's 160 points for a Brutalis. I feel like getting the second one. Great theme as well. Look at those fists. You have no one save anymore, have you? I don't have any kind of one save, no. Um, okay, well, I'll do the six attacks at one threes. Sensing a little bit of a grudge between these two armies. Mike doesn't feel it. I certainly do. <laughs> and then now he rolled. <laughs> Quadruple six. What's happening? Strength 12. Yeah, twos. <laughs> Twin linked. Twin eight as well. Oh no. Rear all that one. Yes. <laughs> all of them. Six minus two flat three. Uh, six right. So be careful. Well, actually, I could probably roll these all at the same time. Because two up save, two up saves is fours across the board. So four ups. Oh no. Okay. Damage. Oh, you're joking. Uh, come on, reroll in desperation. Blocked one. Those two kill those two. Right? Yeah. Because my feel no pain only is in the 10 that I declare a wild. Six damage coming through against Grog the Whopper, but he's got a super cyborg body. Four ups. Ha! <laughs> That was worth the 15 points. All right, so blocked four. Uh, so he's on his own. He's seven wounds. He wouldn't have died anyway. It would have been on one wound left. He's actually just taken two. So he drops down to five wounds remaining. A single Orc Warboss uh, now fighting against the Brutalist Treadmill. But he's not able. He just cannot break through the armor of this thing. Okay, uh, end of turn. Points coming through. Not too bad here for the Imperial Fists. Struggled on primaries, although the Imperial Fists are looking stronger, looking like, looking like they're going to go for this one. And they're now camped out on that one over there. Uh, so just four points picked up. But secondaries are good. Uh, destroying enemy units, maxed out, five points. And three points for the other one, which was? Behind enemy lines. Behind enemy lines, of course, yeah. And that deadly wipeout uh, across there. So Orcs, I thought we'd eradicated the problems in our back lines, but it's just got worse over there with the loss of our home objective. So 28 points to 12. Orcs have got a turn in hand to try and recover the situation. D did you realise you'd done that? He picked up the classic marine as well. Look, see. Oh, did I? Yeah, he's in there. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't. He's in there. He can hang around with them. They're all friends. Okay, we'll go on to turn three now for the orcs. All right, so turn three here for the orcs. So, Defense Stronghold remained in play. It was never fulfilled, I reckon. So it's just gone back. Uh, and then I think I might hang on to it because I might try and rally and, and uh, retain this one. Uh, so the card draw was established locus, uh, which is possible getting a unit into the enemy deployment zone is the one we're going to go for. So resources are low. So much stuff's been destroyed. Uh, and there's a bit of overwatch to resolve in just a moment. Some nasty stuff. Keeping him in close combat. Uh, then moved the Death Dread around. Mike's then declared overwatch here with these. Deadly. Utterly deadly. Just as I thought we were going to have some fun. Uh, <laughs> But we'll see if we survive. Uh, that's that done. We'll come back to the moment. We've pressed over the rest of the move. Uh, Orc boys doing the job, raking another six points on the terraformed central objective. Storm boys have arrived, landing here, just losing patience here, trying to clear this own objective. So drop those in as support. Uh, it's auto six inch move. So Zog's zoomed right around here, 18 inches in total. Going to go for a rush on that home objective as well. The other Storm boys squad has turned up across here, found the gap in the line. Uh, then knobs have moved through uh, Mike's declared overwatch there as well so is that to resolve uh, and then the Gorkonaut has 
side shuffled across here. We're going to try and charge our way out of trouble. Uh, we might be able to zip around here or stretchy charge. If not, next turn we'll have eight inches where we're able to cross over. And so that's the options for him. But really tangled up in the terrain uh, across here with the Gorkon on. That's movement done. Bit of overwatch to resolve and then we'll go on to orc shooting. So we're looking for sixes here with the eradicators. This is their forte, but it is overwatch here, so it's going to be sixes required. And I could do them all at the same time, because they all need sixes. Yes. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, eight shots in total. Three, four, six, eight, yeah. And then sixes. Is it rerollable? Yep. Oh. Maybe your fist dice say double six. Why, of course. And rerollable. Mm, okay. okay, just the two. Right, you're up against something fresh here. This is a Death Dread. Toughness nine. Strength nine, so we need fours. You're horrible. Yeah. There's one. Ah, just the one. And the minus? Minus four. Minus four. We'll take a six up in vulnerable set. Ow. Go ahead. So in armor bane range, no problem. Two and two, four. Uh, yeah, I'd certainly try and reroll that. No. Well, just just a suggestion, but. <laughs> How many ones has he got? He has eight. So if you get a six, you'll kill him. Don't. No, no, no! Don't you reroll your damage for free? Oh, reroll. Yeah, yeah. Roll it. Duh. I feel like an idiot. I said at the start of the game, watch this guy, he's really good. <laughs> oh. Right. right. I'm not going to put up with this. So, the ghost of this vehicle pretend will <laughs> charge in. Let's say he charged, right? So I would have, I was saving up my CP. Oh. So you would have done tank shock. So I would have done tank shock. It goes by my toughness, right? So it would have been nine dice, even five. So I would have struck you with Five mortal wounds. Ah, oh, the dream. Five mortal wounds would have come through. Which me down to six. Down to six wounds left. I would have had seven dread claw attacks. And they would have all hit with a stone. One missed, but sustained on a six. We would have struck you at strength 12. Threes to wound. Threes to wound. Five would have gone through. Let's say you would have played Armour of Contempt, you probably would. It would have been AP minus two again. Orcs, they've lost a bit of nip. Five. So minus one, five dice in threes. And two would have gone through, which would have been six damage. Would have killed him. Would have killed him. Ha, well, there you go. So the dream started, but turned into an orky nightmare. All right, so Overwatch resolved. Actually took out two of the knobs, so I'd onto the bunker. I had across here, some boomstick shots, but no wounds. Then across here, I killed one intercessor. That's redundant, I think. Just yeah, no, there was an extra one past that. Oh, right, okay. So one wound, I'd fired him, and then Mike took away the model at the end across here. No shooting from the knobs. And that's it. So shooting done. Yeah, rocket shots across here. Uh, no damage against the bunker. So shooting complete for the orcs. We're going to charges next. Yeah, messy stuff here. Orcs have... What's wrong with them? come out of hibernation. Oh, it's hibernation, I think. They come out of... <laughs> just a bit groggy. Uh, so, failed this charge. Fine, that's okay. There's a fair chance. But this one across here with the Ripper. Ha! Roll a three. Come on, re-roll. We've got snake eyes. No charge, and then what about a five with the Gorkonauts? No charge from that as well. So orcs slow on their feet here in this game, and they'll be punished next turn with no charges going ahead. One ongoing combat, at least we get to... Oh no. You go first. Defenders go first. <sighs> okay, go ahead. And I will shrug it off. That will cheer me up. So you go ahead with your whisks. Six attacks. Oh, threes. Mike's going to try and make mushroom soup here. Oh, we'll mix yes. that one. Come Two's. on, Grog. Two. All of them five. five. I don't know if I can withstand this. Uh, five plus invulnerable save. 
None. <laughs> damage, please. 9, 12, 15. 15 <laughs> damage. Uh, come on, rear up. It's definitely two to one, do you? Yeah, yeah blocks one. Yeah, I'll just make sure not toughness seven. No, toughness six, we're good. Four have actually made it through, so it's 12. Let's try and give myself some kind of chance. <clears throat> Four up, feel no pain. Super cyborg body. Oh man, we've blocked a heap. We've blocked a heap. We live. <laughs> Drop it down to one more left. Happy, happy, happy. Oh, for a fleeting moment. All right, we will strike back with Grog the Whopper. Armor of Contempt. <laughs> Please let me fight without that. So looking for some hits, looking for twos. No longer leading a unit, right? No. We'll just see. We might start on twos anyway with his Ed Whopper's Kill Chopper. Well, it's a huge chopper, actually. Starts on twos, nice. So they've all hit with a sustained. Good for you, lad. I'll now try and wound on... Uh, toughness 10. Threes. All right, three goes through at minus one. Three saves or three plus. Can we win this thing? The answer is... Twice. We do twice, all right. So four wins taken, dropping down to seven. It's all too little, too late, but a bit of a consolation prize there. And really good to see the war boss being the last orc standing on this flank. End of turn here. Orcs slacking uh, in combats this round, and they'll be punished for it. So end of turn here for the Orcs. Mike's going to draw his secondary sense now that the Imperial Fists uh, are in the ascendancy here in this game. So well done to them. Six points of primaries for Terraform in the centre of the battlefield. Well done. Uh, and then four points picked up for Established Locust. And that's it. We're going to hang on to Defend Stronghold. There's a chance of trying to re-grab uh, that one from the Space Marines. That's end of turn. 22 points to the Orcs, 28 to the Imperial Fists. They're about to pick up a heap of points, I think. 12 points potentially for primaries coming through. We'll go on to their turn four next. Okay, so Imperial Fist turn four. Behind enemy lines and sabotage is the two cards in play. Bring it down was drawn, but uh, Mike paid a CP to dump that one. Uh, bunkers here. These are going to hold. They've got the heavy keyword. Now get plus one to the wound rolls as they sit. Just got to camp it out here and just try and cause as much damage as possible. Mike says he's just going to lob grenades again. Just, <laughs> just uh, he's actually he's counting out the dice here. Uh, Dreadnoughts. So this one's disengaged from close combat and pushed around. Walking through, walking through with, with these. They'll just gun down, grog to upper is the plan. Servo turret does have line of sight to uh, the Gorkonaut, just about. And it's been over for a moment as well. Sabotage. These are pushed through to sabotage this no man's land terrain. And going to hold out. Frustrating the Orcs here at the back with the Inceptors. We're going to shooting phase next. Uh, grenade strat, we'll kick off with that. Six. The Enforce, it was good last turn. And it's okay this turn. Just Two three. come through, dropping down to 13. Every wound helps though against that Gorkonaut. There you go, the Fire Strike Servo turrets range, 36. Two shots, sat still. Yeah. Twos. Twos. Rerollable. Rerollable, yeah. Definitely want to score a two of them. Nice. Strength 10. Fives. Fives. Uh, Snake twin eyes. Linked. Twin linked. Twin linked's very useful. No, not no. this time around. All right, we'll press on with more firepower from the fists. Okay, shooting's virtually finished here. So, bunker fired and finished off the knob from the storm boys. They were whittled down to just the knob remaining. That was split fire coming from the heavy intercessors. All the one damage weapons fired down and killed four of the... That's uh, Storm Boys, and then uh, the knob being destroyed by the bunker. Crack shots coming from the bunker. Uh, no wounds coming through against the Gorkonaut. And then a couple more uh, with heavy bolters of the knobs being destroyed from a Ripper's squad, who's down to about three knobs and a Ripper left. Three and it's awful. Okay, and then firepower from here. The Grog's gone. And these will capture this one now. Yeah, so... Six um, shots. Choose. Is that still? Yeah. Go ahead. Four. And sustain two. Yep. Okay, five's to wind. Yep, five's to wind, one wind. I think the dice are getting tired now. Yeah, oh man. Just throw one last one to the damage cover. No. Yeah. Ah, uh, yes, and I'm just checking my actual save. No, it's a four up, so no. Let's do take it, dropping down to four, but it's still alive, though. That's it.
uh, charges next. I wonder if there's any. The temptation to charge here. Get in first yeah, oh, against the Ripper. All right, so charge has taken place. Heavy intercessors, uh, emboldened by their captain, has gone into what's left of Ripper and his squad. So strike him first. Mike's made the charge, roll a 10, and then since made a pile of moves, well, it looks like it's going to get to fight of all of them except just this one across here. Three attacks each. It's not bad. A lot of attacks come through. The idea is to try and strip away the knobs and then use the captain and his close combat weapon to yeah. get through to the ripper. So eight times three. Okay. Um, hitting on threes. Okay. This is turn four. Smike's idea is just keep the orcs away from the objective and stop them from harvesting points. Yeah. The fives to win. Fives to win though. Yeah. Strength four. Toughness five. Just the four. Okay. Uh, four ups. Yeah. Three. Go okay, three. So we're gonna lose one and then a wound on another. You could have mastercrafted power weapon. It's not bad. Six attacks, needing twos. Yeah. Oh. oh. Okay. Uh, fours. Strength five. Yes. Two. Minus two. Uh, six ups to block. Oh, bodyguard, well done. So block one. The guy that was damaged goes as... You can consolidate first, if you so wish, just to enclose me in. Let's just tuck it into base contact so we'll not get to pile in and push uh, further along. That can go, that's the market for the wounded model. All right, so one knob left, uh, and then gut ripper. I'm just gonna be on four attacks, Mike, so it's not too scary now. Uh, that's it, so we'll go on to my attacks now. Which you are, yeah, this is insane. Unyielding in the face of the foe, we've seen a more fluid use of these. Usually it's camp out in the home objective, quite predictable. Mike's used them around the board. Um, and weighing up of what they've had to face, they've been outclassed on paper. Mm -hmm. Right, this thing should be chopping and these. But Mike's kept them alive, uh, kept them shooting. Not devastating damage, but they've ground down units. But now he's got them onto this objective. They have got themselves onto this objective and they're for like toughness six or three wounds each. Yeah. It's going to take forever to chew through them. So it's a good use of, really good use of using these. They may not have as much potent war gear as other units, but there's a lot of stuff to chew through and buried in amongst them is a defiant captain as well. So units looking good. I'd, we'll go for three attacks with the power claw. Two. Three to wound. One wound comes through, minus two, one save five plus. Blocked. The Ripper. Just four attacks, need loads of sixes. I don't even know if those are going to hit here. Power Claw need threes. He's leading the units, a plus one's there, have all hit. Uh, threes to wound. Yeah, three go through. Uh, these are at minus two, so three saves of five plus. And block two. It's enough to kill him. Yeah. So you can go. Uh, and then. We have a squig who has missed. <laughs> Even the dog's asleep. Okay, so that's that resolved across there. All right, well done. And end of turn, I think. All right, so calculated points. I reckon the Imperial, we both reckon the Imperial Fists have gone beyond the Orcs here. We cannot catch up. The Orcs have got some fight left in them, but so they're not enough to get enough points on the table for a win. Uh, Mike's done well on primaries. 12 points coming in. Against the second turn in this game, he's done that. Five points was picked up for... Um, extend battle lines. Yes. And then sabotage, which is about to be completed, which will come in at another three. Three, yeah. Yeah, so uh, it's not including that three, it's another 17 points picked up. Takes Mike to 45 points. Orcs on 22. I've projected ahead. If we go ahead, the Orcs on their turn four would get... Six. It's just not enough. Then there's some secondaries, so we picked up ten in total. Uh, then we go on to Mike's turn five. 
he's on this one uh, he'll terraform this which he can do and then pick up the two points at the end of the game i'm also going to pick up points the four points across there for the home objective as and then it's just beyond the orcs they cannot catch up there's we can try and wrestle back control that objective and we can try and wrestle back control this objective which we probably would but it'd be too little for us and too late and mike's saying he's going to push around here with these units and go after my central objective if he's able to clear that then that would even stop the terraforming six points from coming through at the end of the game so well done to the imperial fists my pincer attack ended up being an imperial fist pincer attack coming through very successful over on this flank uh, and then really a unit isolated by itself was single-handedly disrupted and held up the orcs over on that flank as well so well done to the imperial fists uh, it's going to be victory to them here in this game so we'll talk about units of the game next for both sides and we thank you to our silver level patrons jason martinez mark solson and ross caldwell okay uh, some interesting choices i'm going to give it to the boys in the middle just for the points gathering that they did they surged ahead and terraformed multiple times and then for the imperial fists it goes to the brutalist dragnaut it refused to die held the line and helped the break through across this direction the orcs just bouncing off the front of this thing fantastic looking model as well maybe i should get two uh, for this imperial fist army that's units of the game for both sides classic match up this one and certainly developing a bit of a grudge between these two sides It'll be interesting to see which direction which units and how the orc list changes so too for the imperial fists here uh, but lots of encouragement for them plenty of units that have shone in this game so hopefully they can fortify and build a solid list going forwards. Great game. Keep a look out for more battle reports on the channel and on membership as well. Thanks for watching. Tune in next time.